my partner Greg Hicks will be doing the color. And our other right hand, uh, Jack Mormon, we don't know if Jack's going to join us tonight or not. Jack had some prior commitments, so we hope he may show up a little bit later. If not, Greg and I will try to stumble through this thing. So, uh, you know, an exciting night here at Callaway Stadium as the playoffs begin. The uh, Cavaliers will play host to the Ringo Tigers, the third-place team from Region 8 AAA. Uh, they come into this game with an 8-2 and two record, having won five of their last six games to uh, to come in on a pretty hot streak. And, uh, uh, you know, Greg, I'm, I'm certainly glad tonight we're in the booth, my friend, because it's cold on that, on that field. <laughs> I was kind of glad Coleman gave me that call and said that uh, Jack had a commitment that, <laughs> that, he, that he may be late or may not even make it at all. I said, oh, good, because I was going to do sidelines. <laughs> right. I was I was trying to layer up early this morning. I said, I'll just take for, take it uh, that I'm going to be in the booth with you. And uh, I, I know we did this last year and had a good time with it. And uh, there's no reason to believe that we won't have a good time tonight calling this football game. You know, and – and you, you talk about uh, Ringo and, and, and the record of 8-2. And, and and I've noticed down their roster, Tony, and, and I'm looking and I see uh, we talked about big number nine, Zach Morris. He's an offensive lineman, defensive lineman. He's a senior. And, and I guess he wears an extra large jersey. I'm not really sure what, what all these is. He's got mediums and large. Well, he makes, he makes an extra large jersey look like a small. Looks he's, small, he, Yes, it? sir. He's a big kid. <laughs> uh, but, you know, Greg, it should have been an exciting night here at Callaway Stadium. And after we come back from our – our first break, we'll talk a little bit more about this game with about 26 minutes to go to a kickoff. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. The all-new, all-pro Hyundai in LaGrange is offering the all-pro advantage. Friends and family pricing on all-new Hyundais for everyone. Save thousands. With 0% financing on 2014 Sonatas and Elantras, purchase a 2015 Sonata for only $20,899. All veterans receive an additional $500 on top of our already low prices. Visit us at 1405 Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, or online at allprohyundai.com. The all-new, all-pro Hyundai, where the customer always wins. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. Getting you back into the game is Emory Southern Orthopedics' goal. The full-service orthopedic medical practice features board-certified surgeons, a prompt care center, surgical facility, and physical therapy services. The collaborative medical team at Emory Southern Orthopedics combines with leading-edge orthopedic treatment with proven traditional methods to aid you in achieving an active, pain-free lifestyle. Emory Southern Orthopedics, getting you back into your game. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here on the Eagle Sports Network. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks. We're about 24 minutes away from kickoff as the uh, Callaway Cavaliers, the uh, second-place finisher in Region 5 AAA, host the Ringo Tigers, the third-place team from Region 8 AAA. And, uh, my partner Greg Hicks and I are looking forward to this game because it it matches two teams that are really you know Greg comes into the to the game hot. I'm reading some of the uh, uh, some of the stats here. It looks mm-hmm. like where they say uh, Ringo actually won their final five games by a score of 232 to 73. And Hello. The Cavaliers have had a great run. Unfortunately, that run was was not stopped, but hit a little speed bump last week in the region championship game against Central Carrollton, and probably one of the best high school football games I guess I've ever seen. But uh, you know, Greg, I guess what we need to uh, one of the things we need to mention to our viewers tonight, the Cavaliers, uh, some breaking news. The Cavaliers will be without uh, number four, Terry Godwin, tonight. Uh, Terry has an injured high ankle sprain on his left leg. And as, as we look at him down on the field, I'm sorry, it's his right leg. He is in a boot. He is not suited up, so he will not be playing tonight for Callaway. And uh, that's going to cause some adjustments to be made on the, uh, the the Callaway offensive side of the football, Greg. Well, you know, and I've, I've, um, I asked you real quick, all right, now who's going to be at quarterback? And you said, hey, and the way you always pronounce, you, the way you always refer to him is 
young That's Dylan right. Johnson. Young Dylan Johnson. And young. I tell you what, uh, Tony, I, I, I saw him. He came in late in the Harris County game, and I liked the way he came in and very methodically, just like a machine, ran that offense. And when, when you mentioned a few weeks back that Dre was hurt, I believe he was hurt in a troop game, he came back and you, and you said, you know, they're going to move Terry to – y'all were heading up to play Pepperell. I think we had another game to call, but um, – he said, hey, he's, he, 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 we're going we're gonna to put Terry at the, at, the, at the quarterback and see what happens. That was – I mean, Pete made a great move. Me, what I say? I said, man, I, I let Dylan Johnson yeah. quarterback. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> but you know what? I hope he does a wonderful job tonight. Yeah, and so, so do we, uh, Greg, and I'm sure he will. He's, uh, he, uh, he began the year as a 10th grader. He's, not a, he's still a 10th grader, but he's not a he's, – uh, he's graduated that 11th grade class now you as far bet. as football experience. And, you know, anytime you lose uh, a player of the magnitude of Terry Govan, it's obviously going to hurt you on both sides of the football. You think about what all Terry does. He, he runs back kicks. He runs back punts. Uh, he plays in the defensive backfield. Uh, you basically put him on the other team's best receiver, and you don't have to worry about him anymore. But, you know, unfortunately he's not there tonight. But what we'll do as Callaway Cavaliers, we'll focus on who is here. And, and as we mentioned, young Dylan Johnson will be starting at quarterback. He's been able to take the reps. Uh, all week with the first string, and uh, one of the uh, one of the things that they're looking at, you know, you can move a lot of people around, but this way you only have a really one new starter in a position, Greg, and I think that's important for that continuity on offense. Well, and, you know, Dre came in last week with the with the central game and did a wonderful job, you know, and unfortunately, like Jack tonight, I was unable to be here last uh, last Saturday night. Oh, so I wanted to be. I was uh, that that old bad bronchitis and sinus infection had gotten to me, and I I just couldn't deal with it. But I listened to you guys on the radio, and what a what a, I was on the edge of my seat, and, and I knew I couldn't yell because it hurt so bad in my chest. But what an exciting game. But, you know, Dre came in. He caught a couple of passes. He was right there. He was stalked blocking well. So, you know, given everything that's happened this past week, you know, that, that that's probably the best move they can make is uh, leaving everybody where they are and bring Dylan in. And, you know, I think it, I think uh, the coaches have a lot of confidence in Dylan Johnson. Like I said, he's been able to rep with them all week. And uh, they feel very comfortable with him at the, at the ham. Obviously, you know, he's, he, needs, he needs game experience. He's had that during the year. Right. And, um, but now it's uh, – and now this is where it pays off. We talk about all year, Greg, about Callaway's ability to play everybody a lot during the year. You know, during the big game, so we'll see. We'll see what happens tonight. We hope that uh, we hope that comes through. And when we come back after this next break, we'll talk a little bit about the the Tigers from Ringo. You're listening to Callaway High School football here on the Eagle Sports Network. Attention, attention. If you are currently an active duty or retired vet, or if you are employed by a school or university, you qualify for supplier pricing. Step into a 2014 GMC Sierra Double Cab SLE for $29,886 or a 2014 Chevy Cruze LT for 18963 Come in and save thousands at All Pro Chevy Buick Cadillac and GMC on New Franklin Road in beautiful LaGrange. All Pro Auto Group, where the customer always wins. Stuck in a state of falling behind, struggling to keep up with your kids, finances, and insurance? Then let State Farm agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange help you simplify and get to a better state because with Mabel Smith Sharp handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time for everything else. More money, too, because adding State Farm policies could mean earning discounts worth up to 40%. That's money. Mabel Smith Sharp can help you put toward a college savings plan. Call State Farm agent Mabel Smith Sharp today and get to a better state with State Farm. Discounts may vary state to state. Rob Upchurch is your REMAX result agent. No matter if you're selling or buying, the first phone call should be to Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. This week's featured listing is Better Than New, a spacious home on a 1.5-acre lot in the Rosemont area. Hardwood flooring, oversized family room with a huge master and a huge master bath. If you want to know more about this house or get your home listed, call Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014 or see the listings at robupchurchsells.com. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here on the Eagle Sports Network. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks from Callaway Stadium, where tonight the Callaway Cavaliers will take on the Ringo Tigers. Got about 18 minutes to go until kickoff, and as we mentioned uh, in the prior segment, the, uh, the Cavaliers will be without uh, Terry Godwin tonight due to a high ankle sprain. But um, they, uh, the cupboard is not bare at all, Greg. Good to see number one back from an injury, Mike Moss. Uh, he's back tonight, which is going to be a, a bonus for the Tiger, for the uh, Cavaliers. And, of course, you know, you got Eddie Culpepper, Cedric Maynard, uh, Courtney Lay, still the cast of characters back there mm-hmm. that, can, that can move the football. And, again, 
everything will be dependent on how well that offensive line plays tonight, I think, Greg. Well, I was just watching going through the uh, – they right now the Callaway Cavaliers running through the pregame warm-ups on offense, and and, uh, and Dylan Johnson had, had kind of – Pitch it out to Mike Moss. Mike then turn it upfield behind big senior Harley Tabor. And, and I tell you what, if anybody wants to – you want somebody to be out in front of you, you definitely want a big Tabor, man. I tell you what, what a name, Harley Tabor. And, and he carries it well, too. Man, he is a big man, and, and he ain't scared to lay the wood on you. you well, know? Harley can't play anywhere else but the offensive line. Where else would you want him to play with, I, with a name like Harley? You man, know? he is yeah, there. Yes, sir. But, and, you know, mentioned Greg uh, – Probably going to see Dre Martin, number two. He'll be. Yep. Remember, Dre started the season at quarterback. That's right. And I'm sure there'll be some plays in tonight. You probably see some rotation at the quarterback, depending on how the game goes, and uh, you know, depending on what quarterback's able to move the team. I'm sure right. the coaches will have to make those adjustments during the game. But uh, uh, again, there are plenty of weapons on the Cavaliers yep. side, and you know, obviously, to be without Terry, he, he means so much to this team as far as the leadership role and the things that he does on and off the field. But uh, uh, unfortunately, you got to play. You got to play with who you got. So you can't focus on who's not there. There. Got to focus on who is out there. Well, you know, we, we somehow we're going to get along without Jack tonight, and I believe the Cavaliers are going to do just fine tonight. And like you said, one of the things I see uh, Dre Martin doing right now, you know, he's definitely can throw the ball just like Dylan. I like Dylan's left hand, left arm throwing. He's been accurate this season. Every time he's thrown it, that I've seen him throw it. But one of the things that Dre might bring to you that that Dylan doesn't, and it is that very quick feet and ability to to get outside very quickly that Dylan might not bring with you maybe make a play with his legs. That's, that's my that's point, yeah. So so I, I, I see where you're coming. You know, the coaches, whoever's going to be able to move this offense, that's the guy that's going to going to ignite that offense. That's guy's going to get the PT, uh, the playing time. And, and, you know, so uh, the, the, and you, you and I talked about it during break. Even with Dylan in the, in the back, I mean, it, starting the quarterback, he is – they're not going to hesitate to throw the ball. They're going to continue running their game plan on offense. They may have to adjust a little bit knowing that they don't have Terry's legs up, up back there. But uh, pa- the passing part of it – they're not going to hesitate. Keep the, on moving. The coaches will trust their kids. They're all prepared. They get them a lot of reps during the year, and this is what we talked mm-hmm. about earlier. So, uh, you know, obviously you're going to miss Terry, but uh, I'm sure the coaches have all the confidence in the world and Dre and, and uh, uh, Dylan to, to, to fill that gap. And defensively, you know, tonight, Greg, the Cavaliers got to do what they do. You know, they got to stop the run, uh, led by LeBron's Zalea uh, from his linebacker position. And, uh, you know, again, Coach Hubbard seems to dial up those, uh, uh, those impressive defensive performances when it really counts the most. And, of course, tonight being the first, Round of state playoffs. That's what he's going to be looking for from his defense. Well, you know, speaking of defense, um, nice article in the paper yesterday, or or, or actually today. Uh, no, it was yesterday. Uh, you know, we talk about Devin Powell and Lorenzo Patterson and J.T. Wortham, names that, that you and I have been talking about. You and I and Jack have been mentioned on the radio now for the last three years. It seemed like they they've been around and around and around. And and, and I, I picked up on Lorenzo last year. I like Lorenzo Patterson. He will from a down lineman. He will come at you hard. LeBron Zalea, Everybody that's listened to us over the past two years know what that young man's been through from a family circumstance, losing his brother, bone marrow transplant, all that. And he is. He showed true heart coming back last year and just playing as if he had a new a new energetic energy about him. And this year, he has been hammering on folks. You just got to like Zalea at linebacker. And he has been the emotional leader of that defense, and they count on him for not, not only his physical presence but him mentally being on the, uh, on the field too. And, you know, Greg, after we take this, uh, this next break, we're going to come back and talk a little bit about special teams. And uh, that'll be a, uh, the third uh, third part of the deal tonight. It's always an important part of the game. Absolutely. So don't step up As and, we found out last and week. And plays. That's yes, exactly sir. right. So we're going to take a short break and throw it back to the station for these commercial messages. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hi, welcome to State Farm. What's up? Hi, I want to switch to State Farm, but my husband has a hard time letting things go. He's stuck in the 90s. Not. Well, if you do switch to State Farm, I can save you 500 bucks. Raise the roof. Switch to State Farm for your auto insurance, and you could save on average 500 bucks. Get to a better state. State Farm. Stuck on saving? The Square and LaGrange are called Matt Orr, your State Farm agent. Average household savings based on 2012 National Survey of New Policyholders Who Reported Savings by Switching to State Farm. Hey, man, my car just broke down. I need to call a towing company. Well, then you should probably call a towing company. I know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I need to call a towing company. Right, a towing company. You should call a towing company. Ah, man, come on. I'm trying to tell you which company should I call. Oh, call a towing company. Oh, call a towing company. A Towing Company, 706-882-8399. A Towing Company, 706-882-8399. 
Hi friends, Jess Lick here with Kia Grange. Join us this month participating in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating $25 for every new car sold. We may not be shaving our beers, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias. Like the 2015 Kia Sorento LX for as low as $22.9, which includes Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Stop by and see us, beards and all, at 1217 Lafayette Parkway to help support your local economy. Well, we're open at eight, so don't be late. Stock number 6612. Getting you back into the game is Emory Southern Orthopedics' goal. The full-service orthopedic medical practice features board-certified surgeons, a prompt care center, surgical facility, and physical therapy services. The collaborative medical team at Emory Southern Orthopedics combines with leading-edge orthopedic treatment with proven traditional methods to aid you in achieving an active, pain-free lifestyle. Emory Southern Orthopedics, getting you back into your game. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the Callaway High School pregame show here on the Eagle Sports Network. Tony Walls here, play-by-play. Greg Hicks doing the color. Greg and I will talk a little bit in the break about an exciting day in college football tomorrow that everybody's looking forward to. And, Greg, I think it's probably going to be just chilly enough to keep everybody inside tomorrow to watch Ooh. those games. But there will be some – we talk about um, – you know, they talk about around the country about, you know, big boy football. And they, they, they play a little big boy football in in some areas of the country. But here in, this, here in the SEC, they play grown man football. And there's, there's a big difference. And tomorrow, there'll be some grown men playing playing college football. Should be a, should be an exciting time to watch as we get ready, get ready here, Greg, for the uh, for the national anthem. The, uh, the colors are being presented by the Callaway High School ROTC here. And uh, as they make their way to the field. We're going to get ready for the national anthem here. It'll be presented by the Callaway High School Marching Band as they brave this cold weather tonight. What we'll do right here, Greg, we'll throw it back to the station for some more commercial breaks, and uh, then we'll come back and listen to the national anthem. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. The all-new, all-pro Hyundai in LaGrange is offering the all-pro advantage. Friends and family pricing on all-new Hyundais for everyone. Save thousands. With 0% financing on 2014 Sonatas and Elantras, purchase a 2015 Sonata for only $20,899. All veterans receive an additional $500 on top of our already low prices. Visit us at 1405 Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, or online at allprohyundai.com. The all-new, all-pro Hyundai, where the customer always wins. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here on the Eagle Sports Network. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks at Callaway Stadium tonight where the uh, Cavaliers are about eight minutes and 30 seconds away from kicking off against the Tigers of Ringgold in the first round of the 2014 uh, AAA State uh, playoffs as the Cavaliers uh, begin their quest for what they hope will be a, uh, a state title in, in about uh, five weeks, Greg, which is uh, be a nice little Christmas present for the Ooh, coach and staff. 
before we went on our last break, Greg, we talked a little bit about the Cavaliers on offense and defense. And I want to mention a little bit about special teams. Special teams has been a big uh, a big plus for the Cavaliers this year. Reese Payne has done a great job punting the ball. Um, uh, let's see, we've got young, young Cameron Spinks, young 11th grader. His first year out has done uh, a lot of the extra point in place kicking, and Hunter Milliman has done a great job kicking the ball off, creating long fields. And, again, you know, Greg, that'll be sometimes that uh, – uh, sometimes that'll come back to uh, that's one of the most important parts of the game, uh, you know, offense, defense. And some mm-hmm. folks, you know, you forget about those uh, those special teams. Last week, the Cavaliers uh, lost the game on a blocked field goal that was returned for a touchdown. So special teams can make a big difference in the outcome of any ball game. You're right, and uh, you know, we we talk about we we mentioned the SEC earlier, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm obviously Auburn graduate, so I, I keep up with the Tigers and. Uh, special teams hurt us last week too. You know, we uh, the Tigers got a field goal block right there for halftime. Got it ran back for a touchdown, and and that's kind of how the game ended last week. And it is very, very important. And you know, you tell you guys at work all the time. You know, Tony, I know you, I know you, you kind of along the same lines with me. When you see guys make mistakes, or when we make mistakes, we look back. All right, what did we do? What did we do? What what did we do wrong? What can we fix? What, how do you fix it? How do you fix it? Let's make sure we, that doesn't happen anymore. And you know, the coaching staff at Callaway, that's what they do, and they've been doing that for ten years. You know, with Napier and Hubbard, with with Coach Wiggins, and the, uh, a lot of the staff has been consistent through the years, and they they built a a program. Or some people might like to kind of bar from Saban and say it's a process, but you know, he uh, he's, he that's the way they deal with things, Tony. You know, when they see that there's a there's a there's a kink, they get it out. And uh, rest assured, I bet we don't see anything happen this week. They're going to fix that problem. Well, and you know, Greg, it's one of the things, you know, it, we won't dwell on last week's game, That's but right. it, on a blocked field goal, it's not something that you practice. No, you don't. You know, sometimes you forget that that ball is still live. The, the ability to pick, you know, it, it's such a turn of emotion and events, you have to change yeah. gears and roll on it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but again, you're exactly right. All these coaches will do a great job of, yep. of that's what they call a teaching moment. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll work with it and they'll get, they'll get that corrected. But uh, uh, again, tonight, uh, you know, that could be a big, uh, a big uh, decisive factor in who comes, out, who comes out on top in this game. And again, uh, we mentioned Reese Payne. He's done a great job the last couple of weeks, really booming the football. The coverage has been good. And Hunter Milliman, like we said, has yes. really done a good job. He's come a long way uh, from the first of the year, really kicking the ball mm-hmm. deep and creating a long field uh, for the opponent. And as the uh, yeah, defensive coaches will tell you, they, they, uh, w- when you have to go 80 yards and run a lot of plays, there's a lot of things that can happen. That's and right. Offenses can put the ball on the ground and have some turnovers, and that's really what you look for. That's right. You know, one of the things that we, you and I have talked about through the years is, is um, the development of, of kickers. And, you know, back when we were playing football, Tony, you may have been the linebacker or the cornerback. You may have also done the kicking. Mm-hmm. Uh, today, most of these guys come out, and, and they're, for the most part, they're, they're pretty much a specialist. Mm-hmm. And that's the good thing. Uh, you know, we didn't really recognize that uh, years and years ago, but that's been a really positive thing in, t- in high school football nowadays. No doubt, Greg. And, I mean, you can make a good living in college Abs- as a long snapper. Good, you mean a good living, a good living in college <laughs> as, a, as, as, as a long snapper, <laughs> as a specialist? I oh, mean, yeah, you could. You, you think about yeah. it. You know, if, you, if you're accurate from 50 yards. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt about it. You know, you can yeah. make a good living. Well, uh, and, you know, and you don't have to be the biggest muscular right. guy around. You don't have to be the most athletic. You just have to be able to kick it 45 boy, you better 50 be, yards. You, you better have consistent. some thick skin. You better have some thick That's skin, right. too, because they don't notice you till you miss one. 80,000 folks, yes, 90,000 folks staring down at you. Yes, sir. But, but that's a good point. But, you know, through the years, I look at, 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 the, uh, at the Tavin Thompson a few years back with, with the Callaway. And, and through the years, the kickers that, that Coach Wiggins has developed. And, and now, you know, now you got Hunter Milliman that, that's come along, had a fine year, and, and – um, will continue to develop and and it's a very important part of the game and so when the guys are out there busting it busting it and they look over on the sideline they see those guys over just kicking i know they think man they got it easy but do they really want to be out there when the pressure's on no doubt no and uh-huh. it's, a, it's a team game it's a team and, they, and they all That's right and you know a lot of kids now greg you give coaches around the state a lot of credit uh they may go find a young man young soccer player who's got a big leg allow him to continue to play soccer but hey come, right. work, come work with us and let's see if you kick a football hey, I, I, you gotta I, recruit them Tony. that's right i Think about the kicker at Alabama now. Adam Griffith came from, uh, actually came from uh, uh, over in Europe and moved to Calhoun, Georgia, and so his 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 ascent to uh, uh, to Tuscaloosa now. You know, and he he can make uh, you know he, he he he's caught a lot of grief this year because he's been a little bit inconsistent. But as a specialist, you're exactly right. You got to have those guys because uh, they're responsible for field goals, extra points, holders, long snappers, snappers. It all goes into all goes into one big unit. 
That's right. Well, you know, and, and, and now the captains are coming out on the field, Tony, and I'm looking at, you know, you talk about community effort. One of the things that the Callaway fans have done for a long time, and they've lined them up, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I saw Cynthia Park down there. And, no doubt. You know, her, her, her boys have done moved on, and, and right. unless they've got a young one that I don't know about, she's, she's in the stands on every Friday night. She's on the field. Uh, for the for the uh, Cavalier Walk or whatever, you know, the player comes out, and so that's what I like to see: a community effort, get behind the school, make it just a big family event. Now, it, that really says a lot about and, the program as well. And it means a lot to the kids when they come out of that dressing room as they uh, as they get ready to come on the field. And, that's right, uh, Greg. You mentioned the uh, as we get down to about two minutes now to go before the kickoff. We uh, the uh, captains are now out on the field. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got number three. Uh, uh, let's see, that's uh, Lorenzo, Lorenzo Patterson for the Cavaliers, number 54, Harley Tabor, number 8, LeBron Zalea, and number 57 is Devin Powell. And as we watch the captains from Ringo come out, I see number 9. I, I was going to say, I think I see number, that big number 9. Number 9, number 73, number 3, and number 6. And so uh, as they get ready to do the coin toss, we're going to pause for one more break here before the kickoff. We'll be right back with the kickoff of Callaway High School in Ringo on the Eagle Sports Network. Good food. Where do you find it? Because when you spend your hard-earned money, you want good food. So the place you'll find that good food is at Rogers Barbecue on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, where they only serve American-grown catfish, barbecue cooked to perfection, and with all the fixings to make it worth every penny. Rogers Barbecue is locally owned and run with care since 1945. Come eat with us Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, or use our carry-out window. Rogers Barbecue, New Franklin Road, LaGrange. Touchdown! Great teams bring together skill, the right equipment, and ongoing support. It's a winning combination. At West Georgia Health in LaGrange, our highly rated teams sport medical expertise, state-of-the-art technology, and comprehensive support services. That's why our heart clinic is leading the way in cardiovascular care and ranked in the top 10% of all U.S. hospitals for medical excellence. West Georgia Health is also accredited by the Commission on Cancer and brings together the latest in diagnostic and treatment protocols. When it comes to keeping you healthy, West Georgia Health is on your side. From quality outcomes and advanced procedures to community education, we're in the game for you. For more information or to review our playbook, visit WGHealth.org. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. Attention, attention. If you are currently an active duty or retired vet, or if you are employed by a school or university, you qualify for supplier pricing. Step into a 2014 GMC Sierra Double Cab SLE for $29,886 or a 2014 Chevy Cruze LT for 18963 Come in and save thousands at All Pro Chevy Buick Cadillac and GMC on New Franklin Road in beautiful LaGrange. All Pro Auto Group, where the customer always wins. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here in LaGrange, Georgia, at Callaway Stadium on this chilly Friday evening. We're getting ready for the start of the Callaway High School Cavaliers against the Ringo Tigers in the first round of the uh, 2014 state championship uh, quest. Tony Walls and Greg Hicks. And, uh, Greg, before we get started, the Cavaliers are going to be able to receive this uh, kickoff to start the game. We want to welcome our friends from uh, up in Ringgold, WAAK 94.7 FM, Tiger Radio. Mr. Frank Santori doing the play-by-play, and Mr. David Jenkins doing the color. And Greg and I were just listening to Frank. He has a much better voice for this. And so if uh, if Greg and I start choking up, we may just, just open, the turn door it over. And, open the door and let Frank do the play-by-play. <laughs> but uh, we, we want to welcome our friends from Ringo. Greg, as I look across the field over there, they got probably – Got a handful of folks, maybe a hundred folks over there. That's, so yeah. uh, they've uh, they're brave. They have braved the weather to travel a little bit south. And as I was telling some of them before the game, this is probably a probably a heat wave for them. Twenty twenty seven <laughs> here is probably like seventeen in Ringo, it but could uh, be. it's uh, it's going to get warm on that field tonight, Greg. As we get ready for this kickoff. Well, you know, as you were out talking to Coach Wiggins uh, before the or doing warm ups, I had come out there to just kind of touch base with you guys. But I said, Coach. 
It's going to get cold tonight. I said, well, no, it's not for you guys. You're going to be all your, – your blood pressure's up. You know, you got your blood going. You, you're going to be moving up down the sidelines. You're not even thinking about this cold weather. Coach Wiggins has got his lucky toboggan on tonight. He says he's had it for 20 years. He said uh, – he said this was – he hoped it brought his, his kids – he said they're ready. They're ready to go. Had a good week of practice. So, you know it's cold. When Coach Wiggins has something on his head, he's usually a visor kind of guy. So, we get about ready to kick off here, Greg, the uh, – for uh, if you're listening on the radio, the uh, Ringo will be moving from right to left. That's going to be number 16, Abel Vargas, young junior, 5'6", 150, doing the kicking. And uh, back deep, number 6, Eddie Culpepper, number 5, Cedric Maynard, and uh, number 20, looks that like looks like Brandon number 20. Brandon Bodie. It looks like it for me. I can't see it. That's number, yeah, that looks like number 28, Dominique Copeland. Okay, you the man. So there's the kickoffs going down the right side over there. It's going to be fielded by Mike Moss at the 31. Mike's going to be hit immediately and dropped at the 31. At the 29, good coverage that time by Ringo. They, they may uh, – he had actually stepped up to the the, tw- uh, to the 30, and then he backed up. And so, unfortunately, the fact that he wasn't hit when he backed up and then he was hit, he's going to be marked at the 29-yard line. But, you know, again, a lot of teams this year, Tony, have been doing that. They mm-hmm. want to keep it away from the deep guy. And, uh, you know, if they just if – you, if you can't get it to the end zone, then, then the strategy has been to kind of kick it short and give up that field. And so the Cavaliers really start with good field position at the 29-yard line. Opening drive of the game, Callaway breaks a huddle. Young Dylan Johnson under center, backs in an eye behind him. Brandon Body at fullback. At the tailback is Eddie Culpepper. Going to turn hand the ball to Eddie Adams across the 30 to the 35 to the 40, out across the 40. First and 10 for the Cavaliers as Eddie picked up about 12 yards on that first down run. Let me tell you something. Great job. Great job by seven, uh, number seven, Woodward. Stalk blocking out here allowed him to get outside and pick up a first down on the first play from the 19 of the 29-yard line all the way down out to the 43-yard line. So about a 15-yard gain. So good job. First play, Cavaliers. Cavaliers break the huddle again. Send two wide receivers left. Braylon Sanders, number 12. Number 7, Nick Woodyard in the slot. Backs in an eye behind Dylan Johnson. Dylan's going to take it, pitch it to his left. And he's going to be hit in the backfield. Maybe lost a yard that time. Good defense by uh, Ringo that time as they stopped stop that play in the backfield. It looks like they had a little slant coming on, the, on uh, from the defensive lineman, Tony, and the linebacker. They, they just kind of felt like they were going to go outside, and that's exactly where Maynard had gone to. And he kind of danced a little bit and got caught in a, really at the line of scrimmage. We're going to call it no gain second and ten as the ball rests on the Cavaliers' 43-yard line. Greg, when we get a moment, I'll let you read some of the sizes of that defensive front for Ringo here. <laughs> <laughs> Second down at about 10 for the Cavaliers. Ball at their own 42-yard line. Again, Baxter and I. Johnson on the center. Cavaliers going to move before the count. Uh, a little anxious that time on the right side. Courtney Lake tried to get a little jump there, but uh, that's going to cost the Cavaliers five yards. Well, you know, and you can see the the, the intensity by the Ringo defense, Tony, as they, they're trying to – and this is coerce the, the offensive line to move it. They were showing stunt and blitz and kind of getting in there, and uh, the tight end just kind of – flexed a little bit too soon and boy you got to be disciplined at this time of the year you just can't you can't like we talked about earlier who beat who beat the tigers down south on the plains themselves you can't beat yourself second down and 15 for the cavaliers back ball is back at the 37 yard line again johnson under center going to turn head to eddie cross going to be hitting the backfield again for no gain maybe picked up a yard greg ball's going to be marked just short of the 40 out near the 39 yard line going to bring uh, third down at about 13 now yeah, he, he did pick up maybe a yard, you say. And, good, and, again, good penetration by the defense. And, and when you talked about how big they are, that big number nine, uh, that Zach Morris kid, who's that we, we've heard he's committed to Duke. He's a senior, and uh, he's a big nose tackle. I'll tell you what, we're actually going to slide him out to tackle this Six, time. 6'7", 280. He is a big hoss. <laughs> Cavaliers come to the line of scrimmage. Johnson in the shotgun. Three wide receivers left. One back in the backfield. Eddie Culpepper to Johnson's left. Dylan's going to turn roll to his left. Looking out in the flat. Got a man open downfield. Nick Woodyard complete downfield. Down to the 40. Nick still run out of bounds at the 30-yard line. What a great touch throw by young Dylan Johnson. Dylan Johnson rolls out to his left, unexpected by the Ringo Tigers. They're not used to scouting Dylan Johnson. He rolls out to his left. He's left-handed. Tony, we talked about that in pregame. He tosses it about 18 yards, picks up Woodyard. Woodyard picks it up another four yards. They're going to mark it inside Tiger territory down to the 32-yard line. Showed good touch on that throw, too, Greg, as he threw it over the linebacker in between the defensive back. First down and 10, Cavaliers. Ball down at the Ringo 32-yard line. Again, Callaway breaks a huddle. Single wide receivers left and right. Courtney Lay shifts to this side. Tight end. Backs in an eye. Johnson going to turn, hand the ball to Eddie over the right side. Eddie's free in the second day. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cavaliers! Behind <laughs> Harley Tabor. He cuts it up the middle. 30, 
three yards and a touchdown, Callaway. Boy, Greg couldn't draw an opening drive up any better than that. Young Dylan Johnson showing a lot of poise, a lot of confidence as the Cavaliers go almost 70 yards for the first score. And with 9.49 now to go in the first quarter, you score Callaway six, Ringo zero with the extra point to follow by young Cameron Spinks. That was a six-play drive, 71 yards. Ended on a 33-yard touchdown, John. Right up the middle of the Ringo defense. Good job by that offensive line. Number 53, Josh Williams. Number 54, as you said, Harley Tabor. Devin Powell, number 57, from his other guard position. There's the snap. It's down. Kick is up. And the kick is good. So with 9.49 to go, your score, Callaway 7, Ringo 0. We're going to take a pause with these messages. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. In sports, free agents are free to find a team that offers the best deal. That's why Grange only sells their coverages through independent insurance agents. They're free to find the best team to protect your auto, home, or business. Mallory Agency considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call Mallory Agency at 706-884-3339 or visit their website at www.malloryagency.com. Products not available in all states. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here with your score, Callaway 7, Ringo 0. The Cavaliers just went 71 yards on their opening, opening possession of the game. 9.49 to go here in the first quarter. The Cavaliers get ready to kick off to Ringo. Hunter Milliman will do the kicking. Cavaliers moving from the left to the right. Waiting on the official, and there's the whistle, so here we go. As the bands play, get everybody excited. Milliman hits it on his 40. Good deep kick down the right side here. Going to be fielded about the 15-yard line by Ringo. Hit big by number 10. That's C.J. Wortham at the 25-yard line. J.T. Wortham just came down and absolutely nailed him. The Ringo guy kind of just he was looking where he, he was looking where he wanted to go, and he didn't see his own guy. And he ran up his back, and, and Wortham said, I'm going to punish you for that. You should have been paying attention. <laughs> he saw J.T. in a hurry, I guess. Didn't I tell you what, they picked him up on the 15-yard line, maybe the 16-yard line, Tony. He runs the ball out in about an eight-yard gain, but uh, – Wow, what a hit by Wortham. That's the way it started out on defense. i tell you what, Callaway, I mean, uh, Ringo starts their first possession on the 25-yard line. Number 15, Devin Lancaster, 6'1", junior, in the shotgun. Two backs flanking him on the right, left. Slot receiver to the right. Two wide receivers, one right and one left. Looks to the sideline as they check their wristbands for the play. Ten seconds to go on the play clock. There's the snap. Going to give the ball right up the middle of number five. Going to be hit immediately and wrapped up for maybe a yard gain there by LeBron's Zalea, number eight, from his linebacker position. I'll tell you something, Tony. You picked up on that. He came blitzing through, grabbed him. Uh, Actually, Devin Powell as well picked him up early. And uh, the kid has some strong legs, drug him for about a yard. They they gave him a yard gain, but Powell picked him up in the backfield real quick. But when you hold it on to that one leg, you got to have some help. And the rest of the Cavaliers came in and tore him down. So second down and nine from the 26-yard line. Lorenzo Patterson in again on that tackle also, Greg. Ringo breaks the huddle, second down and nine. They have a bunch formation out to the left. Three wide receivers right behind each other, one back in the backfield. There's a snap, going to hand the ball right up the middle of the field. He breaks free to the 40, cuts to the outside, going to be turned back in, going to be knocked. Ball to the ground, fumble! Cowboy Cavaliers got it. Yes, wow, sir. what a run that time by number six. Uh, that's... Um, I'm sorry, it's number three, Kyle Show Picked up big yardage after the 50, put the ball on the ground, and there was Bronze Zalea from his linebacker position, Greg. So a big turnover. It, it may it may be, uh, I tell you what, that you, you called that stack position, kind of threw them off defensively. They kind of looked outside thinking, what's going to go? And the defensive lineman kind of turned their head out right to see if it was a pass play, and the kid ran right up the middle for about 22 yards. But you know what he didn't do? He didn't finish. He fumbled. It's a game of turnovers. Ball security. That's Callaway's exactly right. got the ball first down, 49-yard line. First down and 10 for the Cavaliers. Clock running at 8.53, already up by a score of 7 to nothing. Going to turn, hand the ball to Eddie again off the right oh, side. Yes, he's Eddie's loose in the secondary again. He's down to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cavaliers. Good job, Eddie Tony. Culpepper, 51 yards right up the middle of the field. That's Woo. big offensive line again. Eterian <laughs> Bowles from his left tackle, Dylan. 
Devin Powell, number 57, Brandon Body from his fullback position. So the Cavaliers go up now with 8.39 to go in the first quarter by a score of 13 to nothing with the extra point to follow. I tell you what, Tony, they're hitting them right where it hurts, right in the gut, right up the middle. Both touchdowns right up the middle, one to 33 yards, one to 51 yards. What and, and we saw it when Tuck Culpepper got in that second layer, he was gone. He was gone. He did get caught at the five yard line, but he was able to dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Callaway. And the extra point is good by young Cameron Spink. So with 8.39 to go here in the first quarter, and your score, Callaway 14, Ringo 0. We're going to pause for these commercial messages. You're listening to Callaway High School Football from the Eagle Sports Network. Good food. Where do you find it? Because when you spend your hard earned money, you want good food. So the place you'll find that good food is at Rogers Barbecue on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, where they only serve American-grown catfish, barbecue cooked to perfection, and with all the fixings to make it worth every penny. Rogers Barbecue is locally owned and run with care since 1945. Come eat with us Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, or use our carry-out window. Rogers Barbecue, New Franklin Road, LaGrange. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway Stadium, where the Cavaliers have taken a 14 nothing lead against Ringo as they kick off. Ball's going to be dropped on the ground out there by Ringo. They're going to pick it up, get out across the 25. Good return that time. They're going to get out across the 25 to the 28-yard line. Going to be tackled out there by number 10, J.T. Wortham. You know, Tony, so often a busted play can, can turn into something positive. Now, granted, it, it, it often turns into something negative, but they dropped that ball and they picked it up, and you, you're, you're coming down at such blazing speed to, in, in your kickoff coverage that sometimes you, that – that broken play kind of throws you off, and, and they were able to pick up about four or five more yards than it really should have had he held on to that ball. First, Ringo will start first and ten from the, what's it, Tony, 27-yard line. About their own 27-yard line. That's right. Again, wide receivers left and right. Quarterback Lancaster in the shotgun, two backs behind him. Going to turn, run a little zone read right up the middle again, a big hole right up the middle. Out across the 40 goes, uh, that's number three, and he's going to be hit by uh, number two, Dre Martin from his linebacker position, but number three for – Ringo gets out across the 40-yard uh, line near the 40. Actually, it's going to be marked across the 40 to 42, first and 10, Ringo. They're going to pick up about 18 yards on that, Tony, out to the 42-yard line, as you said. Kind of a hurry-up offense. Going to run that zone read this time. Try to run the option to this side. Cavaliers smell that one out. Good job that time by number five, Cedric Maynard, and number two, Dre Martin from his linebacker position. Hey, Dre, I was going to say, he came in. He did a nice job reading that. They played good technique from the – uh, I believe it was Patterson from his defensive tackle position. Taylor really Taylor played a good technique that time. Turned him up field, but only allowed uh, – really, they're going to call that a loss. He pitched it. No, they gave him a two-yard gain. But um, at that, at that play had all kind of opportunity. Uh, thanks to Dre Martin, he shut that down. Second down and eight for Ringo. Going to turn to run that zone read oh. right up the middle field. Hitting the backfield that time. Escapes one tackle. Going to hit and drop for basically about a yard gain. Gets out to near the 45-yard line. The ball was on the ground again. Cavaliers thought they had it, but the ball had been blown dead. Play picked up about one. Third down and about seven. Wortham from his left tackle position, outside linebacker, left tackle position, if you will, had, was on a pinch on an inside slant. He caught the kid in the backfield. And um, – a little help, and he was only allowed to pick up one yard. to be third down and seven for Ringo as the ball rests on their own 45-yard line. Two wide receivers left and right for Ringo. Quarterback Lancaster drops straight back. He's going to feel some pressure. Going to roll to his right. Throw the ball downfield. Incomplete as the throw goes over the receiver's head and out of bounds. So that's going to bring up third down. Oh. They had a timeout. You know, Tony, that was a okay, quick so, whistle. So there was a timeout before the play started. So while they take a timeout, so are we. With 7.03 to go here in your first quarter, you score Callaway 14, Ringo 0. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. All right, I want to ask you something, but you have to promise not to laugh at me. <laughs> okay, what? in maximum comfort. Dr. George Childress and Dr. Marineth Gardner, commitment to you is to provide a complete and thorough examination, review all your pertinent information on you and your condition, and establish a diagnosis and initiate a lifelong care program for your personal dental health. If you're ready to get started, call 706-882-1888 or drop by at 114 Calumet Road in LaGrange or on the web at childressdentalcenter.com. Eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. 
Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here. Your score was 7.03 to go in the first quarter. Callaway 14, Ringo 0. So, Greg, they did get that timeout call before that play, so it's still third down and seven. Ball out on the 45-yard line. There's a snap. Quarterback Lancaster feels some pressure. Number 10, J.T. Worms. Yes. Going to be sacked in the backfield. Good job that time by number 21, R.J. Williams. Man, I tell you what, that Ringo quarterback, the reason he had to get out of the pocket, so much pressure from, from – uh, J.T. Wortham and Lorenzo Patterson, and it allowed R.J. to came in to come in and just whoop him down by his feet, and that will be for about a four- or five-yard loss. It was actually third and seven. Now it's fourth and 12. That's a five-yard loss, Tony. The ball's all the way back to the 40-yard line. Got an injured player on the 45-yard line for the Cavaliers. That looks like number 28, Dominique Copeland. Well, we, we're going to pause for another short break, a little 30-second commercial here. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Joel Upchurch is your Remax result agent. No matter if you're selling or buying, the first phone call should be to Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702. This week's featured listing is on Ridgecrest Road. It's the crown jewel of downtown LaGrange. This beautiful home has beautiful bedrooms, beautiful dining room, beautiful family room. It is the total package house for $319,500. If you want to know more about this house or get your home listed, call Joel Upchurch at 7-523-1702 or see the listings at joelupchurch.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football. Young Dominique Copeland able to get up and get off on his own power there. Good to see that. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks here from Callaway Stadium with the clock running at 6.30. Callaway up by score 14-0. Going to get their hands back on the football again, Greg, if they're able to handle this punt clean. First punt by the Ringo Tigers. It, it, oh, oh, I believe it was blocked, Tony. I believe Dre Martin got a hand on it, Greg. And, and he's it's a live ball. Like, it, I don't, I don't, I'm don't. not, Greg. We had a Ringo man pick it up across the fifty. So let's see what that call is, Greg. Right, now we, we got it. Now we got a flag coming in late. So let's see what happened right there. Number number thirty two that time for for Ringo picked the ball up and was. Uh, Kind of running uh, from sideline to sideline, Greg. Not sure what the call is well, here. So the officials are going to put the, put their heads together and start a rock pile out there. So let's see what the call is, Greg. Unsportsmanlike on 32 has to be for sure. That was the penalty. Now, could he advance a, a blocked punt? Could the offensive unit pick it up and advance the football? If so, he didn't really do a good job at advancing it. There's I don't got, know, Tony. There, there got to be some officials somewhere that can let us know. But they're saying, unsport, <laughs> it is a Cavalier ball after right. a 15-yard mark-off. So the Cavaliers are going to have great field position. But Dre Martin, number two, got a hand on that punt. He did. And knocked it down. So the Cavaliers are going to set up shop at the uh, Ringo 35-yard line, already up by two scores, Greg, with 6-11 to go here in the first quarter. And we talk about special teams, Tony. We, we addressed it before the game. We, we've already had – we've converted two PATs, and now the, the, we had a block punt. And uh, that's good scouting right there. You know, you saw a weakness in the line there that you could get through, and Dre Martin took advantage of it, got that big left hand up, and, and as soon as he kicked it, I thought it was blocked. And sure enough, he got a big enough hand on it. I'm surprised that, it went forward. I thought he was going to knock I thought he got enough of it to knock it down and go backwards. But anyway, Cavaliers start this drive on the uh, Ringo 35-yard line, first and 10. Dylan Johnson under center, backs in an eye behind him. Brandon Body at fullback. Going to turn, hand the ball to Eddie again off the right side. This time, Eddie drives his way out for about four, down near the 30, maybe near the 31-yard line, pick up of about four, second down and six. Hey, good job by Devin Powell. I, I, he took his man, turned him outside, and then just turned him around and pushed him down in the backfield and allowed Culpepper to, to move up and pick up four, four and a half strong yards. It'll be second down and, and let's call it six from the 31-yard line of the Ringo Tigers. Your Cavaliers up. You're just joining us with 5.45 to go in the first quarter. Cavaliers up by a score 14 to nothing. Dylan Johnson under center in for the injured Terry Godwin. Devin Brock split wide right. Baxton and I behind him. Going to turn hand the ball to body. Ball's on the ground. Fumble. Looks like Ringo may have fell on that one. And they did. So the first turnover of the night for the Cavaliers. A little problem with the exchange there with Johnson and body. So Cavaliers give one back now to Ringo. And turn it back over to their defense. Ringo's going to have first and 10 at their own 28-yard line, Greg. And that with 5.24 uh, remaining in the first quarter, your Cavaliers up 14 to nothing already. And look like they, Tony, were ready to go up 21 to nothing and uh, just had a little mishap. You know, we, we've got Dylan Johnson starting for the first time, and what a way to start in the playoff game, Tony. And just a little mishap between him and, and fullback. Um, Brandon Body, number 25. Brandon Body, yeah. yeah. And you, you hate to see that, but. 
Uh, now the defense step it back up. Bunch formation again to the wide to the right. Going to hand the ball off to number three. That's that young tailback, Kyle Scholl. Going to go right up behind that big center. Going to pick up about five, Greg. Going to get it right across the 30. Going to mark the ball on about the 33, 32-yard line. Second down and about seven. Ringo, one of those teams that use the uh, rewards on their helmets, and they use the left side of the helmets. And every time I look up at, at number three, Kyle <laughs> Scholl, it looks like he's wearing a, a like do-rag on his sure head. Does. And because sure it's, it's full of white stars. There's that zone read again to show. Hit in the backfield this time by number 21, R.J. Williams. Ke- uh, Kierick Foster it also in on that from his right tackle position. Uh, either Kierick or uh, I right. misread that. 60, right. It could have been 62, Keegan Ramsey. At either way, either way, man, they were in on it. Tackle him in the backfield. Um, he, he was able to really at the line of scrimmage to pick up no gain. It'll be third down and six as the ball spotted on the 32-yard line. Ringo with two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Got a penalty marker down. Got an encroachment, it so looks let's like. See, let's see what we got here. Offsides against Callaway. You yeah, we see that must have been one of the guys that split out. Must have broke the line of scrimmage. So that's going to give Ringo five yards. Going to be a little bit short of the first down, Greg, but instead of third and six, it's going to be third down and about two. Yeah, just uh, they, they, they've tried that a couple times, Tony, the quarterback. Uses his head. He, he hollers real quick. And he jerks down with his, with his, um, I guess his diaphragm. You know, his right. chest area and, and uh, hard count. Hard count. Yeah. And, and uh, we would kind of uh, got a little quick to get off. This. So it'll be down third and one. And going to hand the ball to Scholl to the right side. Going to get hit in the backfield. Swarmed over by the Cavaliers. Number nineteen, Michael Freeman from his linebacker position. Hit first out there by number ten, J.T. Wortham, and also number five, Cedric Maynard. And on that well is Eric Ball <coughs> Sale as well, Tony. You've called his name throughout the year too, and. Man, that was just, well, as we say, a host of Callaway host Cavaliers. Of Cavaliers. Man, that was third down in a, and really less than a yard. Now it's fourth down and call it five and a half, and, and Ringo's going to go in for their second attempted punt. Great. Hey, let's, let's hope that we can get in and block it I over. know that's right. Great job that time by the defense after that fumble to hold Ringo to a three and out. Looks like the Cavaliers might bring some pressure. Standing back near his 30-yard line is Nick Woodyard. There's a snap. Good snap. Cavaliers coming. They Ooh. get it off. Almost blocked. End over end kick, going to hit on the 40, going to take a bounce. Woodyard's going to pick it up. He's going to be to the 35 and hit across the 36, down near the 40. Good job by Nick Woodyard that time as he saved the Cavaliers about 20 yards of field position by fielding that punt. So with 310, yes, 310 to go here in the third, first quarter, and your score, Callaway 14, Ringo 0. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Touchdown! Great teams bring together skill, the right equipment, and ongoing support. It's a winning combination. At West Georgia Health in LaGrange, our highly rated teams sport medical expertise, state-of-the-art technology, and comprehensive support services. That's why our heart clinic is leading the way in cardiovascular care and ranked in the top 10% of all U.S. hospitals for medical excellence. West Georgia Health is also accredited by the Commission on Cancer and brings together the latest in diagnostic and treatment protocols. When it comes to keeping you healthy, West Georgia Health is on your side. From quality outcomes and advanced procedures to community education, we're in the game for you. For more information or to review our playbook, visit WGHealth.org. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here on your Eagle Sports Network. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks here as we just watched Dylan Johnson run the option to his left, pick up a first down for the Cavaliers as they move the ball across the 50 down into Ringo territory at the Ringo 42-yard line. Great job of running the option to the left that time by young Dylan Johnson. Man, he faked that pitch out there and the, and the, and the corner bit on it. He cut it inside, picked up 15 yards. Showed good speed, Greg. What? Yeah, he did. He got on the corner and turned it on. Going to turn his time and hand it to Eddie over the right side where he's had some success, and he's loose again. Down across the 25 to the 24. First down and 10 for the Cavaliers. That's going to be a 17-yard gain right up again, right up the gut of the, the Ringo defense. And that's going to move the ball inside the 30 down to the 25-yard line. Big Josh Williams, number 53 at center. Young Stephen Curtis at his right guard. Terrian Bowles at right tackle. And, of course, Devin Powell and uh, Harley Tabor on that left side opening up big holes for Eddie Culpepper so far, Greg. 
Uh, first down and 10 for the Cavaliers. Balls at the 35. Johnson going to turn, hand the ball to Eddie across the left side this time. Eddie makes a couple of people miss. we got a late flag. Let's see what that is. Eddie gets the ball down near the 15-yard line. I surely hope it's it, – it's, well, I was going to say I hope it's not holding, but that's typically where the, the flag comes in when it is holding. But uh, right off the left tackle, right off behind big Harley Tabor, and he's able to spin forward and pick up about 12 yards – or nine yards, could have been close to a first down. Unfortunately, that's going to be coming back from the from the spot of the foul, which they're going to call it on the line of scrimmage, Tony. So they're going to mark it off from the 25 back to the 35. Still be uh, first down, though. But instead of first and 10, it'll be first and 20. First and 20, good gain that time. They may have caught Brandon Body with a hole in the backfield that time that allowed Eddie to get loose. But, again, first down and 20. Ball's back near the uh, – actually marked at the 35-yard line of Ringo. One minute, 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. Callaway up by score, 14 to nothing. Johnson under center, Baxton and I going to turn and hand it to quick hitter up right up the middle of Cedric Maynard. Cedric almost gets loose, knocked down just across the 30. Going to pick up about uh, six yards that time. Wow, you, you like that balance in that. He's a spin move, and he was able to hold his balance. He picked up another three yards, and and uh, it looked like he didn't really go down. You know, it just kind of stopped, and I think they finally blew the whistle, and Cedric was trying to grab that foot and get on out of it, but couldn't quite get it done. But second down and call it 14 as the clock continues to run inside a minute and 10 seconds to go on his first period of play. With your score already, 14 to nothing, Callaway over Ringo. Johnson takes a snap, turns, hand the ball over to Eddie off the left side. This time, flag comes in late. Let's see what that is. That came from the umpire, so we may have another hold here. Let's see. Play only gained about two yards. Ball's going to be marked near the 25-yard line of Ringo. Uh, Let's hope not. Cavaliers are marching backwards, so, yeah, it's going to be another hold on the Cavaliers. Well, you know, as we said, Tony, not making any excuses for anybody. Those are some big defensive linemen, you know. <laughs> and, and, and truth be told, there might be a hold on every play. Yes, they you're just probably get, right. You're <laughs> probably right. That's some and, big you know, boys. It's, it's important for each official to throw his flag at least one time. Because they, they've driven hey, a long way. Yeah, they've they driven got, a long they way. I feel important. like they've contributed, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> so <laughs> they back, that backs the ball up past the 35 out near the uh, Ringo 36. Greg brings up second down and about uh, – 22, baby, Greg, something like that. That's right. Clock That's running down in the first quarter. Wow. Johnson in the shotgun. The turn. Uh-oh, ball's on the ground. Johnson's going to pick it up. Hit immediately by big number nine and swallow it up. And that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter, I Greg. So the Cavaliers marching backwards now. They're going the wrong way, Greg. Well, you know, just just a little bad snap uh, from him and, and uh, the center, uh, Josh Powell, I believe, and, and Devin Powell. I mean, and uh, Josh, Josh Williams, Williams yeah. and uh, Dylan Johnson. And uh, just a little mishandling. It's inside 20 seconds. You know, they might be. Uh, they're going to let the clock. They're going to let the clock run down to the end of the first quarter, Coach. down to 15. So, at the end of the first quarter here, your good quarter for the Cavaliers. They're up by a score of 14 to nothing here at Callaway Stadium. Come on back and join us for the second quarter here on the Callaway High School Football Network, Eagle Sports Network. The all new group. Save thousands with below market pricing. We are Georgia's premier Chevrolet, Cadillac, Buick, and GMC dealership. We're not (laughs) monkeying around. You'll get more discounts and incentives, more money. Second quarter here at Callaway Stadium, where your score, Callaway High School 14, Ringo 0. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks here. Second quarter begins with the Cavaliers up by a score of 14 to nothing over Ringo. Third down now, and about uh, probably about 18. Greg Ball's on the Ringo side of the 50 at the 42 yard line. Johnson's going to take it and roll to his left, going to look downfield, going to throw it deep. Number 12, Braylon Sanders is down there. Caught by number 12, Sanders. Touchdown, Cavaliers. A, a 40. Two-yard touchdown pass by young Dylan Johnson, and he aired it out. 
to another young 10th grader. I'm Braylon telling Sanders. you, what, what a future for the Cal- wow. Lake Cavaliers on that one. What a nice play. What a nice call. A little lull in the action between quarters. And, and coaches said, let's catch him while they're sleeping. They're thinking we're going to run it. And what do they do? 42-yard Bomb Coach is, for a touchdown. Coach is showing a lot of confidence in their kids tonight. Young Dylan Johnson, as we said, 10th grader in his first start in replacing Terry Godwin, who's injured. So here's the extra point by uh, Cameron Spinks. There's a snap. It's down. Oh, yeah. Looks good from here. And it is good. So with 11.50 to go and your score now, Callaway 21, Ringo 0. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Good food. Where do you find it? Because when you spend your hard-earned money, you want good food. So the place you'll find that good food is at Rogers Barbecue on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, where they only serve American-grown catfish, barbecue cooked to perfection, and with all the fixings to make it worth every penny. Rogers Barbecue is locally owned and run with care since 1945. Come eat with us Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, or use our carry-out window. Rogers Barbecue, New Franklin Road, LaGrange. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway Stadium here, where your score with 11.50 to go in the second quarter is Callaway 21 and Ringo 0. Tony Walls and Greg Hicks here as the uh, Cavaliers just hit a big 42-yard touchdown from Dylan Johnson to Braylon Sanders. Cavaliers get ready to kick off now. Hunter Milliman hits it at the 40. Good kick right oh, down yes. the middle. Going to be fielded inside the five back there by Shoal, number three. Going to get out across the 15. Going to be hit before he gets to the 20. Going to fall forward right across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Good coverage uh, by the Cavaliers there, but LeBron's Zalea on the coverage. Well, you know, you think about hang time and, and distance and all. Milliman puts it down to the four-yard line. That is consistency to get inside the inside the 10, inside the five-yard line and kept him really on about a uh, – what to say about a 14 yard trip back out to the 19 and a half yard line ball resting the nose of it just inside the 20 yard line so good job by the coverage team good kick by Milliman Cavalier defense now with an opportunity to uh, see if they can get a three and out now Lancaster in the shotgun behind his center there's a snap. He's going to drop straight back. They're going to run a little bubble screen over to the left side. Receiver's got it. Going to break free. Going to get out across the 30. Going to be out for a first down at the 32-yard line. Good play execution that time by uh, Ringo. Well, I, I was going to say, Tony, you know, they had to do something to kind of get that defense off of the out of the backfield because that defensive line and that linebacker core has just really been putting pressure. And it's stopping that run. That big number three uh, shoal has been up the, up the middle but not able to gain a lot of yards that he's probably used to. So they, they do that bubble screen, turn it into a first. First down. First and 10, Ringo. Ball at the uh, Ringo 32-yard line. Going to run that zone read right up the middle again. They're going to get good yardage out near the 40. Greg going to pick up about six yards. That time, number 57, Devin Powell. And again, LeBron's Zalea in on the tackle. Looking at uh, number 10, JT Wortham. Kind of reached that big right hand out there in the backfield and tripped him up. He was able to fall forward, though, uh, Tony, as you said, for just a few yards. But uh, a, little, a few or more than we'd wanted, really, on the, on the first down play. Second and four, he's able to pick up six. Ball's resting on the 39-yard line of Ringo. Um, First two plays, Tony Ringo looks better than they've looked all uh, all game. Trying to mount a drive here in the, early in the second quarter. Lancaster in the shotgun again. Going to hand the ball right up the middle of the shoulder again. He's going to dance. The juke going to be a little bit short of the first down. Going to mark him out between the 42 and the 43-yard line. Going to bring up third down, Greg, in about a yard. Uh, t- t- Tony, it, it's going to bring up third down and maybe six inches. And, and, and the coach, depending on the angle, they're not calling for it on the sidelines, but it sure is close. Let's see if the Callaway Cavaliers defense can step it up like they did in the first quarter on third and a yard and, 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 and really all of a sudden turn it from a third yard to fourth and six. So uh, right now, uh, really it would be nice to get a tough stand by the defense right now, Tony. We're in goal again in the shotgun on a short yardage situation. Going to turn, run it right up the middle of the field. Hit the backfield, Lorenzo Patterson, <laughs> number three, drop for a loss, fourth down. What a job by that Cavalier defense. We turned third down and six inches now, Tony, down to fourth down and four and a half yards. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what Every could've... time we've asked that defense to step it up, they've come through, hasn't they? Lorenzo Patterson, Greg, is really hard to block. We've been watching him all year now, and it looks as though Ringo thought about maybe going for it, but now here comes the punting team on it. Again, a good job by the the defense that time. Lorenzo's just simply been unable to be blocked. They haven't been able to block him in the first half here. So you know, and, and Tony, you're right, but you know, and certainly not. I don't want to be an armchair quarterback, but wow, they had a bubble screen that worked well. Uh, a little little slant 
uh, come off a tackle, work well, and then they go back to just kind of a little option play on the outside, knowing that it, it just it, – I don't know. I thought to myself, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. <laughs> Time out for Rigo here with 9.15 to go just before they punt. We're going to throw it back to the station for these commercial messages. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Blues season is for your lottery ticket for a chance to win a new 2014 Kia Soul for up to $500,000. The 2014 Soul is totally transformed. It's uniquely styled and features advanced technology. The Soul LX starts as low as $16,900 and comes back by Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Stop by today or shop anytime online at KiaOfLagrange.com. Help support your local economy. Win big at Kia. Welcome to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football. Callaway Stadium here. Your score, Callaway 21 and Ringo 0 with 9.15 to go until halftime. Cavaliers watching for a fake here. It's not. Ringo's going to get a kickoff. It's going to hit on the 30 and take a bounce. Going to get past Woodyard. He's going to pick it up at the 15, out back to the 20. Going to make a man. Oh, he's going backwards now. Going to be hitting the backfield and dropped down near the 10-yard line. Good coverage that time by Ringo. It was a good coverage. And, you know, really good hands by um, Woodyard. He was able to pick it up and, and go to the sideline. Had he just maintained his uh, progression, it would have been fine. He turned. He decided to turn around and bring it back. But not only did you do that, when you do that, it's like, you know what, just stop and, and take a knee. Sometimes, he, it really sometimes, never you, take, sometimes you go straight ahead and take three yards just and go. get the ball. That's yeah. exactly right. North-south. But you know what? <laughs> uh, it happened. So the, the Cavaliers will start uh, on a long drive now. They've got to go um, – about 87 yards as the ball is going to start on the 13-yard line. Dylan Johnson under center again. Backs in an eye behind him. Brandon Body to fullback. Going to turn and hand the ball to Culpepper. He's going to go across that left side. Going to get out near the 15. Going to mark him a little short. Going to be out near the 14-yard line. Play picked up about two yards. Second down and eight. This is the second possession of the fir- of the uh, second quarter. Kind of they had the ball to end the first quarter, slid into the second quarter, 42-yard pass. From Johnson to Sanders, uh, your score right now is twenty-one to zero. Your Callaway Cavaliers leading in this uh, leading in this first round of the Georgia High School State Playoffs. Johnson under center again, again backs in the eye. Courtney Lay moves from the left side to the right. They're going to turn and give it back to Eddie over the right side. Going to be hit. Basically, no gain that time. Good defense by uh, Ringo that time. Number 53 and number 73 did a good job of holding that play to no gain. Well, you know, Tony, I just said if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the Callaway, Callaway has had such success running right up the gut. So now twice in a row, uh, looks like Ringo's made a couple of adjustments and, you know, kind of stopped us on that. So now let's see what Coach Napier's got up his sleeve now to kind of break that, uh, that, that trend up the middle now. One thing I don't think you'll see, he's not going to put his quarterback in a position for a big mm-hmm. turnover right here. I think you'll not see. Not deep in this there. No, not, so I think no. you'll see the, the Cavaliers remain pretty conservative. Let's see what they do here. Bring two wide receivers left, one right. Backs in an eye behind him. Cedric Maynard, tailback. Going to turn and hand it to Cedric. Going to be hit in the backfield. Thrown for a loss. Knocked down at the 10-yard line. Good penetration that time by, uh, by Ringo. Number 53 from his linebacker position that time, Mike Bishop. Six-foot, 200-pound senior. I tell you what, uh, the best defensive stand uh, in the first half of this football game that we've seen from Ringo Tigers. And, um, looks, Cal- like, looks like they sold out to stop the run that time. Greg. Sure so, did. So I'm sure Coach Napier will come up with something here again. You don't, you, he's not going to put his team in a position deep in their own territory for a big turnover right here. You got uh, the first punt. Uh, Reeves set, Payne. Goes into uh, the seventh-minute mark of the second quarter, and Payne will be standing on his own goal line. So we really need a good kick this time. Wow. We're going to pick up five yards right there as Ringo jumps offside for some reason. Well, fourth and ten. that We got five, so maybe we can get them. We'll get them one more time. We'll have the first down. Hey, let's do it. We'll take it any way we can get <laughs> That's it. That's right. So that's going to move the ball out five yards. Going to move it uh, out to about the 17-yard line. Well, It'll be uh, fourth down and five. The Ringo uh, receiver is standing on about the 46-yard line right now. He's not offered to move. He's going to back it up to probably about the 50. But uh, really, this is where we – field position is critical, you know. No doubt. We really would like to see a 60-yard punt and roll on this one. Payne standing at his five-yard line. There's a snap. Gets it off. Off the side of his foot. Going to hit it to 30. Not going to, they're going to take a Ringo bounce. Not a good punt that time for the Cavaliers. Ball's out across the 30 to 32-yard line. So Ringo's going to have excellent field position to start this drive. We'll throw it back to the station now for a 30-second commercial break. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on Eagle Sports Network. 
Stuck in a state of falling behind? Struggling to keep up with your kids, finances, and insurance? Then let State Farm Agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange help you simplify and get to a better state because with Mabel Smith Sharp handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time for everything else. More money, too, because adding State Farm policies could mean earning discounts worth up to 40%. That's money. Mabel Smith Sharp can help you put toward a college savings plan. Call State Farm Agent Mabel Smith Sharp today and get to a better state with State Farm. Discounts may vary state to state. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway High School football, everyone. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks here with 6.13 to go in the second quarter. Your score, your Cavaliers up by a score of 21 to nothing. Ringo was able to jump out for about a three-yard gain on first down now. Ball's on the Callaway 30. Quarterback Lancaster going to take the snap. Going to throw the ball over the middle, over the receiver's head, number four, incomplete. It looks like number four down the seam route there on, on, the, on the hash marks, and it looks like he kind of gave uh, our little uh, cornerback a little push off to, 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 to kind of give him a little separation Separation, there. Greg, yeah. And, uh, and, and the quarterback, you could see it from our from our vantage point that he wasn't going to catch up with it because the ball was, was <coughs> thrown as soon as it came out of his hand. He just wasn't going to catch up with it. Number four, Ethan Dalton on the <coughs> receiving end of that one as it was thrown over his head. So that brings up third down out about eight. Clock stop. Ball's on the 30-yard line. Be third down and seven from the 30-yard line. One wide receiver left, two right, one back in the backfield. Quarterback Lancaster's going to feel some pressure. Roll to his right, looking downfield. Nobody open. Going to cross the 30. Hit hard, knocked out of bounds. Down near the 27-yard line by LeBron's Zalea. Going to be short of the first down. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, he kept going and going and going and going and going. And, and, and the quarterback... Uh, uh, Lancaster just decided to throw it. No, don't, don't throw it. And he did just kind of drug it out and really picked up about three or four yards. It'll be fourth down and four, but really took a hit as he was just before he was going out of bounds. So. Good coverage by the Cavaliers again in the secondary. So here's, here's that bunch formation, Greg. Fourth down, fourth down about three. The bunch to the left. Quarterback Lancaster looks to the sideline for the play. Play clock down to ten. Fourth down now. Fourth down about three. It looks like Ringo's going to take a timeout. It'll, it'll, no, actually, no. it's going to be Cavaliers take a timeout. We'll, we'll keep it right here for this, uh, uh, for this uh, commercial break here, Greg, with five, 5.45 to go now until till halftime and your score. Callaway up by a score of 21 to nothing. And, uh, you know, Greg, I think uh, Ringo pretty much has to go for this. I mean, they, if they punt, they might get 10 yards of field position. And so they haven't really shown an opportunity to stop the Cavaliers now. They need, need to try to put some points on, on the board to get back in this game. Uh, you know, and, and, and I lived in, in Dalton for seven years, and, and uh, really all those teams up there had good kickers. Uh, and, and you wonder, obviously, uh, now granted this would be a uh, – a 26, 36, about a 42, 43-yard field goal, which is not uncommon in high school. Right. But obviously, they're not going to attempt it, so they either don't have a kicker or just would rather give it a chance to see if they can pick up maybe on a hard count or actually run a play and see if they can pick up four and a half, five yards because all they need is four yards. But, you know, we like it better when they need uh, only a foot. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Maybe they'll help us out with the play call again, Greg. Fourth down and three now for uh, Ringo. Ball on the uh, 31-yard line. I'm there's the snap. Lancaster going to drop straight back. Going to feel some pressure. Throws the ball out to the left. Complete out there for the first down to number one. Knocked out of bounds by number one for the Cavaliers, Michael Moss. But it is a first down for Ringo. Hey, they're, they're wide receiver. You know, good play call. Good they're, throwing they're, catch. They're number one. Just really just pushed Moss really hard. Just driving his legs and Moss respecting it. Gave him a little bit of distance. He slammed on the brakes, turned outside, and the ball was waiting on him. Hey, good play call by, by Ringo. As you said, they pretty much had to get a first down. Good throw and catch that time for Ringo as they do pick up a first down. Ball is marked inside the uh, 20 at the Cavalier 17. First down and 10. Quarterback Lancaster looks at his at his wristband for the play. He's in the shotgun. They're gonna, he's going to drop back, look across the middle for the tight end. Incomplete out there, overthrown. Had number 88 down the seam uh, with Aaron Clossell bearing down on him. <laughs> you know, Aaron, Aaron wanted to put a hat on that big tight end. I tell you what, um, he looks back and he's probably thinking, you know, he's, he's softer than I really thought he was. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he was wide open. Well, you get those you get those, get those alligator, too. You get those alligator arms when you go down that seam and those safeties are hunting heads in Don't there. Don't you so. know it. I like that. <laughs> Second down and 10 now for Ringgold again. Ball at the 17-yard line. Quarterback Lancaster again in the same shotgun formation. There's a snap. They run that zone read right up the middle. Number five that time for 
Uh, D.L. Goins going to pick up about five yards, going to get down near the 10. They're going to mark it near the uh, 11, 12-yard line. Going to bring up third down and about five. You know, no doubt the ring goal is, is in certainly should be in field goal range because they're just outside of PAT range right now. But third down and five, the, uh, the first pass is, was incomplete to the tight end. Uh, good play call, just incomplete. Uh, that, that play was, again, uh, an option right up the middle, a little read option, as you said, right up the middle. So it'll be third down and five. Um, Cavalier defense really needs to tighten up. We'll try to keep him out of the end zone, Tony. Quarterback Lancaster going to run, going to drop straight back, fake that zone read, going to throw it out here to the left, complete to number three. He's in the secondary, across the five, down near the six-yard line. That's going to be a first down, I believe, Greg, based yeah. on where the market yet will be. First and goal for Ringo Tigers. You know, he, he came, he really just had to go to his secondary receiver. He had a guy on the scene route, but good coverage. He looks back, he throws it to his, uh, his secondary receiver in the backfield. He's able to pick up about six yards and a first down inside the 10, down to the six-yard line. Um, is where they're going to spot the ball. So it's first down and goal for Ringo with four minutes and 20 seconds left until halftime. Your Cavaliers up 21 to nothing, but the Tigers from Ringo threatening to score. Quarterback Lancaster getting that same formation they've been in all night. Going to take the snap, run that zone read right up to middle number three, hit in the backfield that time by number 62 of the Cavaliers. Keegan Ramsey with a big stop for no game. I tell you long, uh, Keegan Ramsey just busted loose, went, the, went under the, his uh, uh, right uh, guard, if you will, on the offense, made that play in the backfield. They're going to call it no gain. He might actually, Tony, that might be backing that ball up uh, a half a yard. Um, it's like they've got it marked, Greg, maybe near the eight, seven, seven-yard line, still second down and goal. Tell you what, good penetration by Ramsey that time on defense. So clock still running, three minutes and 35 seconds to go until halftime. Lancaster again in the shotgun. There's a snap. Going to run the option to the left side. A little quick pitch up the middle of number four. Hit by the Cavaliers. Number two, Dre Martin. Hey, Ramsey turned that ball inside, allowed Dre Martin to come in from his linebacker position. It was a good play call, really. Good play call. They had Cavaliers, two or three Cavaliers on the outside doing their technique, and you don't see that little halfback toss up and a little, little shuttle that's a little shuttle, shuttle pass. pass. That's right. Inside there to the behind. The and behind a safe it. play if it's incomplete. It's, if he doesn't catch it, it's incomplete. That's right. Ball. So third down now for Ringo. Ball inside the five at the four-yard line. Quarterback Ramsey again going to take it and hand the ball. Pitch it out to number five for Ringo. He's going to be hit. Ooh. He's going to make it in the end zone. Touchdown that time. Number five, D.L. Goins, as Ringo gets on the board with 2.53 to go till halftime. But you know what, Tony? We, from our vantage point, it looked like as soon as he got the ball, we – did you not say, okay, it's a touchdown? Yeah, I thought he was going to But you know what? In. He hesitated a little bit. R. J. Michael Williams. Moss didn't hesitate. No, he didn't. He was right there on him and uh, almost got him tackled on the one-yard line. I'm thinking, what did you hesitate for, That's young right. man? Get in the end zone. I didn't quite understand it, but at any rate, they did score so with the Tigers, 2.53 the to go. The Tigers of Ringo take advantage of a short field and go 35 yards for their first score of the night. Now here comes the PAT. There's a snap, and it's up. And from here, it looks good, and it is. So with 2.53 to go until halftime, Ringo gets on the board. You're scoring out Callaway 21 and Ringo 7. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hi, friends. Jess Lick here with Kia LaGrange. Join us this month participating in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating $25 for every new car sold. We may not be shaving our beers, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias. Like the 2015 Kia Sorento LX for as low as $22.9, which includes Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Stop by and see us, beards and all, at 1217 Lafayette Parkway. Help support your local economy. We're open at 8, so don't be late. Stock number 6612. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 90 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here at Callaway Stadium. Tony Walls and Greg Hicks calling the action for you tonight with 2.53 to go until halftime. The Tigers of Ringgold have just scored to make the score Callaway 21 and Ringgold 7. Cavaliers now with an opportunity to get their hands on the football again and maybe try to put some points on on the board before halftime, as I look at the board down there, they have one timeout left. Ringo has two. On our first possession of the second quarter, Tony, that drive took every bit of 10 seconds in a 42-yard <laughs> pass. So That's right. let's see if we can do it one more time with two minutes and almost three minutes to go. Uh, we need to put together a quick drive, maybe a quick six. Back deep for the Cavaliers. Number six, Eddie Culpepper. That's going to be kicked at the 30-yard line and picked up by number one, Michael Moss. Michael's going to get out close to the 40-yard line, be knocked down about the 39-yard line. So good heads-up play by Michael Moss, and that's where the Cavaliers will start this drive from their own 39-yard line. 
First and 10, 248 to go until halftime. And, Greg, it's important now for the Cavaliers to go down and answer that touchdown uh, because if, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Ringo gets the ball first in the second half. That's, that, that's so, right. So the Cavaliers, it's important now for the Cavaliers to go down and try to put some more points on the board. You know, even though we're up by two touchdowns and we talked about we had a fumble on, the, uh, on our third possession, we could be up by three touchdowns right now. So you're right. It's important that the Cavaliers take advantage of these last three minutes. Dylan Johnson on the center, going to take the snap, hand the ball to Eddie Culpepper over the right side. Eddie's going to be hit as he crosses the 40, gets out to about the 42-yard line, hit hard there by number 53 from his linebacker position there. Play picks up about four, second down and about six. That may have been one of the hardest hits uh, put on by, uh, by the Ringo uh, defense right there, but Culpepper pops back up, goes right back in the huddle. Clock still running inside, two minutes and 25 seconds. Looks like Ringo has made an adjustment, Greg, to put a lot of people in the box and really shut that run down and uh, – Try to make the Cavaliers open up that offense with a young quarterback at the helm. Well, and, and twice he's passed, and, and twice he's completed his passes. Johnson's going to turn, hand the ball out to Eddie again over the left side. Eddie's <laughs> going to keep those legs driving. Going to be knocked down after a gain of about three. He's going to bring up about second, third down, about two. Going to mark it out near the 48-yard line. They go, I was going to say that yard marker needs to move on up. But uh, Culpepper hit that cornerback. That cornerback had come in from his uh, outside position and, and tried to take Culpepper on, and, and Culpepper just had his momentum and just a little bit bigger and, and, and just drilled him and moved over him for another two yards. It'll be third and one as the ball rests just short of the 49-yard line. Third down and one, 140 to go until halftime. Johnson on the center. Long count. Takes a snap. Busted play. Going to to try to run the option. Play's going to lose about five yards. Tough loss on third down that time. Going to back the ball up inside the 45-yard line. Going to bring up fourth down at about seven. Well, at least he had a relief valve in Eddie Culpepper. Eddie's getting up, kind of shaking his head. And I think think all three of them wondered what went wrong with that play. But luckily – Johnson really made a good play. He got hit. He saw he had Culpepper. Kept Why not por- pitch it to him? He didn't. It wasn't a bad pitch. Culpepper has good hands. Caught it. Was was hit within within a half a second. And kept, it, it kept his poise. Yards. That's right. Yep. Kept hey, his poise. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with the punt here on fourth down. Looks like the Cavaliers are going to let the clock run down now with under a minute, 58 seconds in, clock, in, in running. Play clock down to seven. The Cavaliers still have one timeout left. Uh, Ringo still has two timeouts left. And the Cavaliers are going to take it right there now as they get ready to uh, prepare for this punt. We're going to throw it back to the station now for these short commercial breaks. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Rob Upchurch is your REMAX result. Locally owned since 1945, they have daily lunch specials for only $5.95, and that includes your drink and dessert. Tuesday night from 5 to close is all-you-can-eat ribs. Thursdays, Rogers has all-you-can-eat catfish, which along with their stew is famous throughout the region, and they proudly serve only U.S. farm-raised catfish. Dine in or use their convenient drive through Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. at 117 New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Come join the crowd at Rogers Barbecue listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway Stadium and Callaway High School football here with 49 seconds to go until halftime, and your score, Callaway 21 and Ringo 7. Cavaliers get ready to punt. Ball's marked inside the, uh, out near their own 42-yard line. Reeves Payne standing on his 30. Tony Walls and Greg Hicks. Been our privilege so far to call his first half. There's a snap. Good snap. Payne's going to hit it on about his 33. Oh, nice. Nice Ryan. high spiral. Going to be fair caught back there by number four, just inside the 20. Good job by Reeves Payne that time. You couldn't have asked for a better punt. Nice uh, hang time. It was allowed the Callaway Cavaliers to get down there real quick. He calls for a fair catch at about the 18-yard line. Uh, uh, nice spiral uh, turnover punt. That's what you'd like to have every time. Appreciate uh, you guys listening to us as the first round of the Georgia High School State Playoffs at AAA here in Georgia. And we're sorry that Jack Mormon couldn't be with us. He had just texted me and said that uh, he had a, a, a event at school tonight and just has no voice left. So he will not be joining us tonight. But he's joining us in the spirit, and I'm sure he'll be texting us on all the things that we do right and wrong. <laughs> but we appreciate Jack, and we appreciate these Cavaliers being up right now, 21-7. to 7. So with 42 seconds to go, we'll keep it right here, Greg. The uh, the Cavaliers have called their final timeout, it looks like. 
And uh, as we said, your score 21 to 7. And the uh, Cavaliers looking to get off the field in the first half with a two touchdown lead. And Greg, thing, one thing we want to guard against here is, Greg, a couple times this year the Cavaliers have had a, a propensity to uh, give up a big play right before That's the right. halftime and turn momentum. So I'm sure the coaches are making sure that the defensive backs keep everything in front of them, don't get beat deep with 42 seconds to go here until halftime. And, you know, my mind goes back to the to the Harris County game. And, you know, we hated to see that. And really at that time, Callaway was up 17 to 0. And That's didn't, right. Didn't think a whole lot about it. Um, but we obviously not know looking back in the record books, uh, Harris County uh, took it to us in the second half. So you're right. Coaches, good timeout call, Tony. Good timeout. Remind them, hey, keep your, keep your composure. Keep everything in front of in you. In front of you. All right. I, I think you said when you were in high school, you'd back up 50 yards. Yes, sir. Keep in front of yes, you. sir. There's that little hey, incomplete out there on that bubble screen. Number three, Lorenzo Patterson almost stepped in front of that and picked that off, Greg. Man, what a turn of events that would have been. Uh, had Lorenzo been another two inches, uh, been another two inches taller, he might have been. He might have intercepted that one, and he had it. It only been a twelve-yard touchdown run, too. I believe he could have walked in with that one, but yes, again, sir. As, it, as it is incomplete, now brings up second down and ten. Thirty-eight point two seconds to go till halftime. Ball's marked inside the twenty at the Ringo eighteen-yard line. So you you think uh, <coughs> that they're looking for that bubble screen? Nothing deep. So let's. They're going to run that zone read right up the middle to number five. He's going to spin and get out across the 20, out near the 25 to the 24 as the clock continues to run. And it looks like Ringo may be happy to get off the field only down by two. Well, they show they're on to that two side touchdowns. of the clock. Yeah. Uh, two timeouts left. and They are going to take a timeout, Greg. We'll keep it right here for the well, – uh, that clock's still running, so somebody missed that somebody whistle. Mi- somebody missed something, didn't he? And it's still running. And, and, and the time click keeps up here like they're sleeping and having a daze. They don't quite <laughs> – they're not even reacting like they want to stop. Well, the clock. maybe it wasn't a timeout. They're going to let the clock run out, and That's it does. Right. So uh, both teams get re- are leaving the field now. So a good first half of the Cavaliers as we come to the end of the first half with your score, Callaway twenty one, Ringo seven. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hello. Hi, Jennifer. Listen, Nick is here with me, and he's very, very sorry. Um, who is this? I'm Nick, State Farm agent. State Farm is famous for having great claim service. Uh Uh-huh. When Nick got in his little fender bender last month, State Farm patched things up for him right away. I think he's hoping we can patch things up with you, too. This is crazy. Go with the company with a 97% satisfaction rating on claims. Get to a better state. State Farm. Count on Agent Matt Orr on the square in LaGrange to help you patch things up. Car won't start? Or does your problem sound a little more like that? Come to Stanford Automotive to get your car in tip-top shape quick with a reliable team of automotive specialists. Stanford Automotive, 706-882-0186. 66 Young's Mill Road in LaGrange. Stanford Automotive, 706-882-0186. Attention, attention! If you are currently an active duty or retired vet, or if you are employed by a school or university, you qualify for supplier pricing. Step into a 2014 GMC Sierra Double Cab SLE for $29,886 or a 2014 Chevy Cruze LT for $18,963. Come in and save thousands at All Pro Chevy Buick Cadillac at GMC on New Franklin Road in beautiful LaGrange. All Pro Auto Group, where the customer always wins. Getting you back into the game is Emory Southern Orthopedics' goal. The full-service orthopedic medical practice features board-certified surgeons, a prompt care center, a facility, and physical therapy services. The collaborative medical team at Emory Southern Orthopedics combines with leading-edge orthopedic treatment with proven traditional methods to aid you in achieving an active, pain-free lifestyle. Emory Southern Orthopedics, getting you back into your game. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Stadium with your score, Callaway 21 and Ringo 7. Tony Walls and Greg Hicks live here at Callaway Stadium, and we are at halftime, and one of the neat things that the – uh, Cavaliers do that on their last home game. They recognize their sponsors, Greg, with okay. helmets. Oh, what a and, wonderful thing! With helmets, and then they have that. Uh, they have that from now on. So uh, it's just one of the things Coach Wiggins has done to, uh, to him. Uh, you know, to uh, 
improve the uh, the the community relations and those I type like build it. up that relationship. I and, like it, uh, Greg. As we get ready here to listen to the uh, marching band from Ringo, the Ringo Tigers. Hopefully, at halftime here we can go back and touch on a few highlights. Uh, uh, we'll play those back at the station after we come back from a few, our next break. But uh, as uh, as you look at the first half, Greg, what do you take away so far from the first half? Well, I, I tell you, but man, we uh, uh, at the first quarter we had they didn't have an answer for us right up the middle. Uh, I like the way Dylan Johnson uh, was cool under pressure. He rolled out. His, he, he had a nice 18-yard uh, option run. He had a nice little uh, throw out to uh, Nick Woodyard, picked up a, a nice little first down. And then he even had a 42-yard a touchdown pass to begin the second quarter to uh, Braylon Sanders, uh, a fellow sophomore. And, uh, it really, you, you, just, you didn't see Ringel doing anything to stop us, and you didn't see us doing anything to stop us. The only thing that we did with, uh, with uh, 839, actually uh, a little less than that, uh, we had a 35-yard run by Ringo, and then we wound up fumbling the ball uh, back over uh, to Ringo with our first really turnover, the, uh, and hopefully will be our only turnover. Right. Um, and so that's why I said we really could have been 28-7 to right now, but um, – only until really halfway through the second quarter did we see Ringo make any adjustments to right. stop us. We, we started our, our second possession of the second quarter on the 12-yard line. And granted, that was our worst field position thus far, but Ringo did a good job at right. kind of stuffing us. I think for, for those of you that are just joining us and wondering why we have not called Terry Godwin's name, Terry's not playing tonight. He has a, a high ankle sprain. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is in a boot, and you heard us mention young Dylan Johnson uh, who got to start at quarterback. And, and really, Greg, I, uh, from, my, from my standpoint, thought he did a good job of running the offense, getting done what Coach Napier wanted done, uh, made some plays, as you said, with his legs and his arm, and uh, – you know, was able to uh, to run the Cavalier offense, and uh, the offensive line did a good job for Eddie. Rand's got got good yardage right up the middle of the field. Josh Williams, Devin Powell, Stephen Curtis, Etarian Bowles, Courtney Lay. Uh, my goodness, you mentioned you mentioned all those people on that on that offensive line. Harley Tabor, um, and you know they were able to get. And, and the best way to take pressure off a young quarterback is to run that football. And Absolutely, that's, that's what the Cavaliers did in the first half, and. Uh, you know, Greg. After we we're going to take a little listen here. I think if it's all right with our fans back at the uh, at, at the uh, station, we're going to listen to the Ringo High School marching band as the Tigers have brought a, a as you say, a how many tubas, Greg? They've got that's a four four tuba, tuba band. band. But and, I'm telling you what, they Tony, really, they, really they got a big band. Good. We're going to we're going to uh, let Nicobia turn them up where we can listen to the sounds of the Ringo High School marching band. Wonderful. 
you know, and, and the Kobe, you mentioned it, and Tony, we're sitting here. What a big band. And, and of course, they've got uh, uh, brochure uh, uh, or, or banners out there depicting those like maybe what, World War One or World War Two, And, and uh, what a timely presentation as we're coming off of Veterans Day on Monday and kind of celebrating the week. And I know it's something they've been practicing all year, but at least for this week, it's very timely. It really was. And I know, Nakobe, you, uh, you are a, uh, a was it theater and music major at, at uh, LaGrange College, so yeah. this is uh, yeah. this is your expertise. <laughs> yes, music major. I, don't, <laughs> I can't say I know most of the tunes that they're playing, because I don't, of course, it seems very big band, which was in the 20s, in the, well, the 40s, 30s, and 40s, big band. So I wish my wife was here with me. We could be doing some uh, ballroom dancing, right? Oh. Some rumba, <laughs> a little cha-cha. Oh, Maybe, yeah, maybe the cha-cha, a little fox trot. Fox trot. Oh, listen to you talk the language here, Tony. I, I don't have anything to say. I'm just enjoying the music. I, Nicobe, I, I defer everything to her. She's there you go, baby. They're making very beautiful formations. I wish some people could see it. Well, if you're watching online, you can obviously see it. How beautiful. Also, a very large pit orchestra, pit percussion. Well, I'm glad you're saying that. I what just a, see a bunch of musicians down there. What a great show by the Ringo Band. Boy, yes. And they're still, boy, what a great sound. Thanks to our listeners who are correcting me when I said Veterans Day was Monday. That's a reminder that it's Tuesday. <laughs> it, it had to be a Georgia fan, too. You know, they're smart guys, too. <laughs> Flag Corps, they started twirling what they like propellers, like the Air Force, and now they're twirling rifles, and they're doing very good at it. Yes. I know I couldn't twirl it. That takes a lot of practice right there, the synchronization between the flag corps and the music. Yes. Outstanding. What a man. Perform what a performance by the Ringo High School Marching Tiger Band. We're going to pause with these short messages now and throw it back to the station. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CBT, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. In sports, free agents are free to find a team that offers the best deal. That's why Grange only sells their coverages through independent insurance agents. They're free to find the best team to protect your auto, home, or business. Mallory Agency considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call Mallory Agency at 706-884-3339 or visit their website at www.malloryagency.com. Products not available in all states. 
Hi friends, Jess Licht here with Kia LaGrange. Join us this month participating in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating $25 for every new car sold. We may not be shaving our beers, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias. Like the 2015 Kia Sorento LX for as low as $22.9, which includes Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Stop by and see us, beards and all, at 1217 Lafayette Parkway. Help support your local economy. We're open 888, so don't be late. Stock number 6612. Joel Upchurch is your Remax Result agent. No matter if you're selling or buying, the first phone call should be to Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702. This week's featured listing is on Ridgecrest Road. It's the crown jewel of downtown LaGrange. This beautiful home has beautiful bedrooms, beautiful dining room, beautiful family room. It is the total package house for $319,500. If you want to know more about this house or get your home listed, call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or see the listings at joelupchurch.com. Johnson going to turn, hand the ball to Eddie over the right side. Eddie's free in a second there. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Cavaliers. Behind me, <laughs> Harley Tabor. He cuts it up the middle, 33 yards, and a touchdown Callaway. Yeah, that was that was the way we opened it up, Tony. With uh, with actually that came at the nine minute and forty nine second mark. So really, only two minutes and eleven seconds did it take the Callaway Cavaliers to score that first touchdown, and 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 really had no answer. They came back and and was able to stop uh, Ringgold on their first possession. Uh, Callaway takeover on their second possession. Uh, actually had a fumble, fumble recovery, and and and, and I, I'm not sure. I, I thought it was Lorenzo Patterson. It may have been Le- LeBron Zalea, but you guys will definitely see it on the film tomorrow. Who who gets credit for that fumble recovery? Um, the uh, Cavaliers take over on their second possession at the 49 yard line, and uh, very quickly answer something else. All right, we were we were looking for that 49-yard touchdown. Actually, started on the 49-yard line. They had a first play, a one-play drive. Eddie Culpepper on a 51-yard jump right up the middle, Tony. And and at that point in time, with 8:39 left in the first quarter, it's all of a sudden we got kind of excited about it. Put the Cavaliers up by a score of 14 to nothing uh, early in the first quarter, and uh, you know, yep. and we, we we were able to tack on another one. Uh, sort of hit a wall maybe in the second quarter. Went up by a score mm-hmm. of 21 to nothing. Ringo was able to score. Uh, late and, and hopefully we have some more highlights here for you to go over to go, but uh, you know again all in all a good first a good first half of the Cavaliers I think it, you know we we on our third possession uh, we took the ball down and on the on the second play we had a little mishap between uh, Dylan Johnson and and the fullback there uh, Brandon Body Brandon Body and right. and you know unfortunately that was the only turnover in the in the first half by the Cavaliers and we hopefully it's the only turnover the entire game You're exactly right uh, but but they did recover that fumble and that was. Um, uh, it's somewhere around the 16 minute, uh, the six-minute mark of the first quarter. But, but what happened is that really resulted on our block punt special teams. We That's talked right. about them. We'd we'd already kicked two PATs, and and uh, Dre Martin had come through the line, put that big left paw, paw up on Ringo's first punt attempt, blocked that punt. They tried to advance it, uh, you know, on the on on the it was ill-advised, and he also had a personal foul at the end of the run. And, and really gave us good field position is where we started on the 35-yard line. And, again, that's where we had our fumble. Right, and field position was critical. I think, Greg, you mentioned <laughs> that in the first half. That, uh, Ringo was able to score after having a short field on a short that's point right. by the Cavaliers. So uh, they actually had about a 35-yard drive, and they were able to make it 21-7. to And, uh, you know, it's uh, – uh, Again, it's a good first half of the Cavaliers. Some things to improve on in the second half. When we come back after these commercial breaks, we're going to take a listen to the Callaway High School Marching Band and go over a few more highlights, and we'll get ready for the second half. So you're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Good food. Where do you find it? Because when you spend your hard-earned money, you want good food. So the place you'll find that good food is at Rogers Barbecue on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, where they only serve American-grown catfish, barbecue cooked to perfection, and with all the fixings to make it worth every penny. Rogers Barbecue is locally owned and run with care since 1945. Come eat with us Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, or use our carry-out window. Rogers Barbecue, New Franklin Road, LaGrange. Stuck in a state of falling behind, struggling to keep up with your kids, finances, and insurance? Then let State Farm Agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange help you simplify. 
and get to a better state. Because with Mabel Smith Sharp handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time for everything else. More money, too. Because adding State Farm policies could mean earning discounts worth up to 40%. That's money. Mabel Smith Sharp can help you put toward a college savings plan. Call State Farm agent Mabel Smith Sharp today and get to a better state with State Farm. Discounts may vary state to state. Rob Upchurch is your REMAX result agent. No matter if you're selling or buying, the first phone call should be to Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. This week's featured listing is Better Than New, a spacious home on a 1.5-acre lot in the Rosemont area. Hardwood flooring, oversized family room with a huge master and a huge master bath. If you want to know more about this house or get your home listed, call Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014 or see the listings at robupchurchsells.com. Blues season is upon us. And we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group and or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Going to turn, hand the ball to Eddie again off the right oh, side. yes, he's And he's loose in the second day again. He's down to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cavaliers! Good job, Eddie Cole. Culpepper, 51 yards right up the middle of the field. That's the offensive line again. Italian Bowles <laughs> from his left tackle, Dylan. Devin Powell, number 57. Brandon Body from his fullback position. So the Cavaliers go up now with 8.39 to go in the first quarter by a score of 13 to nothing with the extra point to follow. Wow, we talk about, uh, you know, uh, quick scoring. That came at the 839 mark, Tony. And, uh, man, we, it just happened so quick. And you and I were getting all excited here. And, you know, we knew that most of the time that's going to settle down a little bit, you know. Well, you, you know, we talked earlier. One important factor for when you have a young quarterback starting his first game, the best way to take that pressure off him is to run the football. And that's, that's certainly right. what the Cavaliers have done in the first half. They've done a good job of moving the ball on the ground. Now, Ringold made some adjustments there in the second quarter. They stacked the line of scrimmage with more people than we could block and were able to shut the run down That's a little right. bit. So let's see what type of adjustments both teams make in the second half as we're about a minute or so before kickoff. We're listening to the Callaway High School marching band. The uh, Ringold band went a little long with their presentation. Hopefully we can listen to the, uh, to the young people from Callaway High School. Let's do it. Those are the melodic sounds of the Callaway High School marching band here as we get ready uh, to start the second half. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks here live from Callaway Stadium with your score Callaway 21 and Ringo 7. We're going to take one more break, and we'll come back for the second half kickoff in just a moment. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. In sports, free agents are free to find a team that offers the best deal. 
That's why Grange only sells their coverages through independent insurance agents. They're free to find the best team to protect your auto, home, or business. Mallory Agency considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call Mallory Agency at 706-884-3339 or visit their website at www.malloryagency.com. Products not available in all states. Getting to ATM in the southeast, closer to people who care about you, local people who make local decisions. We're CBNT. How can we serve you today? CBNT is a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Some restrictions apply to mobile banking. CB. One minute you're out there living life to the fullest. The next thing you know, you've got sweeping changes to make, and your family's future to think about. Talk to a Grange Independent Agent about how to save by putting all of your insurance with Grange, protecting your possessions and the ones you love. When things zig instead of zag. The Mallory Agency is your Grange Independent Agency in LaGrange for auto, home. Rogers Barbecue in LaGrange has been locally owned since 1945. They have daily lunch specials for only $5.95, and that includes your drink and dessert. Tuesday night from 5 to close is all-you-can-eat ribs. Thursdays, Rogers has all-you-can-eat catfish, which along with their stew is famous throughout the region, and they proudly serve only U.S. farm-raised catfish. Dine in or use their convenient drive through Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Children's Dental Center's mission and goal is for you to enjoy all of your teeth, all of your life, in maximum comfort. Dr. George Childress and Dr. Marineth Gardner, commitment to you is to provide a complete and thorough examination, review all your pertinent information on you and your condition, and establish a diagnosis and initiate a lifelong care program for your personal dental health. If you're ready to get started, call 706-882-1880. Get rolled to his left, going to look downfield, going to throw it deep, number 12, Braylon Sanders is down there, caught by number 12, Sanders! Touchdown, Cavaliers! A, a 42-yard touchdown pass by young Dylan Johnson, and he aired it out to another young 10th grader. I'm Braylon telling Sanders. you, what, what a future for the Cowboy wow. Cavaliers on that one. It sure was nice, Tony, in a 10-second drive to begin the second quarter of play. Maybe we can get a turnover here after we kick off and get another 10-second drive, Greg. Hopefully, welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here at Callaway Stadium where we have just completed halftime, getting ready for the third quarter kickoff. Cavaliers will be kicking off going from their left to right. Ringo will receive the ball to start the second half. Big first, big big first series, I think, Greg, for, for both teams. You know, you kind of set the tone of the second half by what happens in the first five minutes of the third quarter. That's a that's a great point, and and like you and I talked, got to lay it all on the line now. I mean, this is it. You got 24 minutes to maintain the lead, to keep that lead, and to pile and to pile on it. Really, to add to that lead, because uh, uh, we don't want to talk too much about what opportunity lies ahead next week. We got to take care of business. We got one half to do it. Continue doing what you've been doing. You know, so. So here we go with the, with the uh, final 24 minutes here of this first first round playoff game between Callaway and Ringo. Hunter Milliman hits it at his 40. Another Ooh. big, deep kick all the way back to the goal line. It's going to be fielded back there by number three again. That's Kyle Scholl. Scholl going to get out to the 20. Going to be hit hard right there by, uh, I believe that's number eight, <laughs> LeBron Zalea again. Uh, LeBron Zalea along with number 21, R.J. Williams, down there to make the stop. They'll move it out to the 22-yard line. Really had a 22-yard return because what a kick by Milliman all the way to the goal line. That's one of the deepest kicks I've seen him kick all year. Young man's done a great job, Greg, from the start of the year to where he is now. Really worked hard and you, you can see it see it paying off for him now. Well, this is what we talked about. We need a three and out. Don't need to let them get on down the field. Uh, Callaway really needs to, to stop them three and out this time on defense. Ringo comes to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback Lancaster going to turn, hand the ball to show. Going to be hit as he crosses the 20 by Zalea and Dre Martin going to pick up about two Bring up second down and eight. Well, I tell you what, a little crisscross action in the backfield trying to – it's the first time I've seen that, that, that play from the two backs uh, during this game and, and uh, really held them to a one-yard gain. It'll be second down and call it nine as the ball moves out to the 23-yard line, which is where Ringo will have it second and nine. Lancaster getting in the shotgun, flanked by two backs. He's going to take and drop straight back, going to look downfield. Got a man running loose down the seam. Got a man open out there, number one. Overthrown and incomplete. Boy, number one that time had gotten behind our cornerback out there. Uh, number one is, if I can find his number here, Greg, for, for Ringo. Garrett Yates. Garrett Yates was behind the secondary there. Young Dominique Copeland bit on that double move. And uh, fortunately for the Cavaliers, the ball was overthrown. But Lancaster showed a good arm. 
But that brings up third down to about nine. You know, we talk about how, how we missed that opportunity on our fumble earlier. We should have been up another touchdown. That's at least two opportunities that uh, Lancaster has overthrown his wide receivers. That's but they right. were wide open behind our corners. Bunch formation again over here to the left side with three receivers. Pressure coming by the Cavaliers. Almost intercepted by LeBron Zalea, and he had nothing but green in front of him. I guess now we know why Bronze plays on the defensive side. But, boy, great coverage by the Cavaliers. Great pressure. J.T. Wortham doing a great job. That's what I was going to say, Tony. J.T. Wortham, absolutely. About the time Lancaster let go of the ball, he absolutely nailed him. Put him to the ground, and you know Lancaster was thinking about it. He was about to get hit <laughs> when he let go of that football. Great pressure by the defensive line. Great, great reaction by Zalea. Good job that time by the Cavalier defense to get a three and a possible three and out here if the Cavaliers can handle his punt. Exactly what we needed for the defense to do, and that's up to the offense to turn it into some points. Good snap, good high spiral this time. Going to be fielded. Fair catch by Nick Woodyard at his 40-yard line. So that's where the Cavaliers will set up shop. And we're going to take a short break for these commercial messages. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. The old Contact Heritage Construction in LaGrange, residential and commercial contracting, grading and excavation, asphalt and concrete paving, now offering specialized concrete, including exposed aggregate. Heritage Con $500 on top of our already low prices. Visit us at 1405 Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, or online at allprohyundai.com. The all-new All Pro Hyundai, where the customer always wins. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLA 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here at Callaway Stadium. Tony Walls and Greg Hicks at the start of the third quarter. Your Cavaliers with their first offensive possession. Johnson going to turn and pitch mm. the ball wide to Eddie Culpepper. Eddie's losing the second oh. air to 50. Still on his feet, 45-40. 35-30, going to be run out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Good job by Eddie Culpepper. What a tremendous block by number 17, Devin Brock. He absolutely turned his, his, his uh, corner out to the side, outside, allowing Culpepper to turn it up inside and really could have picked up another yard but thought it best. Let me just scoot out of bounds because it was going to be a collision. He picks Save up that. about 28 yards. Save that wear and tear on that body. Actually, he picks up about 32 yards on that play all the way down to the 31-yard line of the Ringo Tigers. Johnson under center again, backs in an eye. Johnson's going to turn, hand the ball off to Eddie on the left side this time. This time he's going to be stopped for a short game. He's going to get the ball out about to the 30-yard line, bring up second down at nine. He, he actually just tried to he, he grabbed the ball, tried to read himself, and Culpepper tried to make a cut to the right. He planted, moved to the left, and he was – he picks up a yard. It'll be second and nine as the Callaway Cavaliers have it on the 30-yard line of the Ringo Tigers. And on their opening drive of this opening possession of this second half, uh, hopefully the Callaway Cavaliers can put it in the end zone. Braylon Sanders wide left. Devin Brock in the slot to the left. Johnson's going to turn and roll to his left, Just looking downfield. Open. Got a man open. Devin Brock complete down inside the 10-yard line. First and goal for the Callaway Cavaliers. You couldn't ask for a better job from Braylon Sanders as he took his man deep, Tony, and they respected him. So they were two had a corner sitting there looking at Sanders, and Sanders was driving the guy deep because Sanders had a great game last week. It allowed – I was watching the quarterback, Johnson, cool hand Luke, man. He just – Faked that little handoff, rolled his little left side out, and put it wide open where he needed to be. First down and goal from inside the 10. Put it right on the numbers. Good throw mm. by Johnson. First and goal for the Cavaliers. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Actually going to be marked at about the 9. Johnson's under center. Backs it an eye behind him. Going to turn and pitch the ball to the left to Eddie. Going to stutter step at the 10. Going to head forward. Pick up a short gain. Maybe good job that time by Ringo. Maybe give him a yard. Second down and goal. Man, you talk about dancing at halftime there. We were talking about doing the doing the rumba. He looked like he was doing the rumba in the backfield there, Tony. He was able to save face, though, and pick up a yard, but he had to dance to get it. So, you're right. Good job by Ringo. Kind of toughing it up. It was on the nine-yard line. They're going to move it down close to the eight-yard line. So, we'll take what we can get, but it'll be still second and goal from just by, about the eight-and-a-half-yard line. Johnson brings the Cavaliers out of the huddle. Come to the line of scrimmage. Backs in an eye again behind him. Cedric Maynard this time the tailback behind Brandon Body. They're going to turn, hand the ball to Cedric off the left side. Cedric finds a little room, gets down to about the five. Going to bring up third down and goal for the Cavaliers. Big Brandon Body led that way as he kicked out that linebacker. Man, that was some meat on meat right there because Brandon Body has got a body. He's not a small man by, by no means, and we're able to pick up another yard and a half. It'll be third down and goal just outside the five-yard line. Brandon does a good job from his fullback position. 
uh, Greg. He's been a good uh, – they'll, they'll give him a little uh, – I'll throw him a bone every now and then, let him carry it. He'll, he's able to pick up some yardage. But most of his work comes from that blocking fullback. So yes, let's sir. see what the Cavaliers can do. Third and goal right here. Johnson under center. Going to take this – pitch it to Cedric to the left side. Cedric's going to cut in. Touchdown, Cavaliers. Yes, nice little cut too. Nice toss by uh, Johnson. He tosses it out. Maynard takes it. He plants that left foot, cuts it inside. Ringo takes him outside. No way. Touchdown, Cavaliers. Good block at that time by the Cavaliers as they outnumbered the Tigers on that left side over there. The strong side was to the right. Cavaliers ran that quick pitch back to the left and used Cedric's speed to go in for the touchdown. Put the Cavaliers up by a score of 27-7 to with 8.20 to go in the third quarter and your extra point to follow by Cameron Spinks. There's a snap. Hold is good. Kick is up. And the kick is good. So, with 8.20 to go here in the third quarter, your score now, Callaway 28, Ringo 7. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagles Sports Network. In sports, free agents are free to find a team that offers the best deal. The next thing you know, you've got sweeping changes to make and your family's future to think about. Talk to a Grange independent agent about how to save by putting all of your insurance with Grange, protecting your possessions and the ones you love. When things zip. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football. Tony Walls and Greg Hicks live here at Callaway Stadium where you score with 8.20 to go. In the third quarter, Callaway 28, ring goal 7 as the Cavaliers have just tacked on another touchdown. Getting ready to kick off again. Millman hits it again, another good deep kick. Going to field it by Scholl at the three-yard line. Up to the 15 to the 20. Going to be hit just across the 25-yard line. Again, number 13, Aaron Clausell in on the tackle. You know, one of the things you probably pick up, Tony, is just as Shoals about to get hit, what does he do? He kind of kind of hunches down a little bit. And, and, you know, you don't do that unless you've been pounded a little bit. <laughs> and, and I promise you, these Ringo Tigers probably hadn't been hit like this all year long. And, and, and uh, you could tell, by the way, you, you had a little – as you said, alligator arms on the tight end earlier. Right. They had an opportunity to score. I mean, it's one thing to be wide open flying down the field on the go route. You don't <laughs> have to worry about that. But you can tell when these boys are about to get hit, they kind of draw up a little bit. Lancaster going to take take the snap. Drop back. Pressure again. Number 10, J.T. Wortham. We've called his name all night long. Thomas Hodge in there, number 51, to help clean it up. Wow. J.T. is having one heck of a ball game, Tony, as he was in there. And that's going to go for about a 12-yard, no, 14-yard loss. Is That ball is going to go from the 27-yard line all the way back to the 17. About a 10-yard loss. Good job, J.T., in the backfield. J.T. Like Wortham, wow. one, of, one of his best games of the year so far tonight, Greg. Second down. You what a time second, to have it. Second down about 20. Lancaster again in the shotgun, going to take it and drop straight back, looking downfield, pressure coming from mm. Zalea, avoids it, Wortham again in his face, thrown, broken up over there, incomplete, number two, Dre Martin. What a great job. Oh, Zalea's pounding him, and Lancaster throws the ball, and, and uh, uh, Martin waits for that last second, jumps and tips it, because he had a, he had the wide out just behind him, right. but what a great time and Martin had from his corner position, or really from Dre, his linebacker position. Trey Martin. What is, an athlete. Trey Martin is a good athlete. Just yes. finally getting that knee well. He's been out two or three games with a uh, meniscus problem, but boy, mm-hmm. getting good coverage in the secondary again by the Cavaliers. They've done that all night long. Third down and 20. Lancaster getting in the shotgun. Going to fake the zone read, trying to run that bubble screen to the left. Complete the show, knock down, Ball. balls on the ground. Are they going to they gonna say down? it was down again? Dre Martin there causing that, causing that play, blew, blowed that play up from an initial start and really held it great to almost no game. I tell you, Keegan Ramsey, Ramsey pounced on that fumble like he's supposed to. But I tell you, that, that bubble screen really has only worked one good time tonight. Uh, Cavaliers have been able to shut that thing down from – Really from inside linebacker position, seeing that happening, by the time they catch the ball and turn it inside, bam, they're tackled. You're right. You're right. So the Cavaliers force a three and out again. Ringo gets ready to punt, standing inside their 10-yard line. Number seven, Nick Woodyard, standing at his 45. 
There's a kick. Line drive this time over to the right. Boy, going to take a serious Callaway roll. Going to be picked up by Woodyard at the 35. He's at the 40. Oh, nice. 45, return. 50, back out of bounds on the 45-yard line. So, great Got a field flag position. On Got a flag down. I don't know if it was a block in the back because it looked good. Really, he had already had. He did pick it up. Um, and I, I don't know that it was a blocking back. But I think that's that's the most common foul, I guess, Greg. So, let's see what the officials – you know, it's been a while since they threw a flag. So, you know, <laughs> well, again, again. Hey, Woodyard had about a 14-yard return. They're going to call it hold. Holding instead of blocking the back. So that's going to back the Cavaliers up almost back near their 30-yard line. So let's see where the ball is going to be marked. The flag is actually on the 43-yard line. line. So it should go back to the 33-yard line, and that should be where the Cavaliers will have it taken over on their second possession of this third quarter. So with 6.36 to go here in the third quarter, you're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Attention, attention. If you are currently an active duty or retired vet, or if you are employed by a school or university, you qualify for supplier pricing. Step into a 2014 GMC Sierra Double Cab SLE for $29,886 or a 2014 Chevy Cruze LT for $18,963. Come in and save thousands at All Pro Chevy Buick Cadillac and GMC on New Franklin Road in beautiful LaGrange. All Pro Auto Group, where the customer always wins. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here at Callaway Stadium with 622 to go in the third quarter. You score Callaway 28, Ringo 7. Callaway with the ball on a first down run that time by Eddie Culpepper. Picked up about 12 yards all the way past the 45 to the 46-yard line. Now we got some movement on the Cavalier side that time. We jumped a little bit early. Number 59, Terry and Bowles, a little bit anxious. It's going to back us up about five yards. Had a little jump by the interior line on the defense, and, and Eterian just decided he wanted to not let him hit his quarterback, so he took a little extra effort. But unfortunately, trying to get a good angle. Kind of, trying to get a good angle. <laughs> he did. Yes. It kind of negates that 12-yard gain. <laughs> um, it did. It's still first down, but it'll be first and 15. That ball will uh, move back to the 41-yard line as um, Culpepper had run it all the way out to the 36 or to the 46-yard line. So uh, this will be technically the second play. Uh, of this second possession in the third quarter for the Callaway Cavaliers. First and 15 now. Johnson under center, backs it and I. Quick trap to Cedric Maynard right up the middle from the fullback. Oh, 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 oh. Cedric gets the 50. He's in the secondary. Look he here. could go. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cavaliers. We got an injured player down, but a 59-yard jump by Maynard as he went right up the middle, did a couple of good dance moves, and he is Gone. Nobody. Could you see him turn on that speed, Tony? You yeah, boy. Cedric's got another gear. That's the first time this year we've really had a chance to see him explode like that. We got uh, young Josh Williams, number 53, the center down back at the 39-yard line. We're going to take a short break. But when we come back, we hope Josh will be okay. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Touchdown! Great teams bring together skill, the right equipment, and ongoing support. It's a winning combination. At West Georgia Health in LaGrange, our highly rated teams sport medical expertise, state-of-the-art technology, and comprehensive support services. That's why our heart clinic is leading the way in cardiovascular care and ranked in the top 10% of all U.S. hospitals for medical excellence. West Georgia Health is also accredited by the Commission on Cancer and brings together the latest in diagnostic and treatment protocols. When it comes to keeping you healthy, West Georgia Health is on your side. From quality outcomes and advanced procedures to community education, we're in the game for you. For more information or to review our playbook, visit WGHealth.org. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football with 531 to go here in your third quarter. The Cavaliers have just scored to go, by score, to go up by a score of 34-7 to as Josh Williams makes his way off the field. He's pretty gingerly on that right leg with some assistance there, Greg. Hopefully he'll be okay. We'll try to get a report on him as quick as we can. But as we get ready for Cameron Spinks' extra point here, uh, out of the hold of uh, Reeves Payne. Well, we looked down, and, and when we saw Josh land on the ground, we saw Big 73 getting up off of him too. So don't know if it was a twisted knee, twisted ankle, but it looks like he was walking gingerly better than we thought. 
There's a snap. It's down, and the kick is good. So we're going to keep it right here with with 5.31 to go now in the third quarter, and you're scoring now Callaway 35 and Ringo 7. And as we look down on the sideline, Greg, we see young Stephen Curtis uh, getting ready. Uh, Stephen is a backup center. Stephen has some experience last year at, at center, so he'll move over from his guard position That's right. and uh, to the center. So hopefully we can get, uh, as they're looking at Josh's, I can't, it's, it's something on that uh, on that right leg, Greg. We won't speculate what it is. We'll just hope for a good report. Now, now would that, would that take number 58, Nick Bishop, kind of bring him in the game? How, how does that play? I, I believe Nick Bishop would move to, to the guard position vacated by Stephen Curtis. So okay. we'll, we'll see exactly what the coaches do here. I, I see Nick up there, number 58, kind of coaching, pointing him out. So he's kind of standing over there with the offensive line looking at him. So, yeah, uh, it should be what happens. But getting on the sidelines, uh, Curtis and Johnson working on the little snaps. Now he's going to back up into the shotgun, kind of working on the snap as well. So the Cavaliers get ready to kick off now with 5.31 to go here in the third quarter, up by a score of 35-7. to Milliman's going to hit it again at the 40. Get a good kick down the left side this time. Not as deep this time. Going to be fielded at the 10. Straight up the middle of the field to the 20. <laughs> That's J.T. Wortham again, Greg. Wow. How many times are we going to call J.T.'s name tonight? Man, I tell you what, I know it's a team effort, but I tell you what, they're, they're running from everybody, but the J.T., he is going to find that runner. Uh, even JT gets up, look like he's a little winded because he knows he hit him hard. Well, it's a long way on that kickoff coverage, Greg. You forget, you sprint the field and you make a tackle. So, I believe JT will be just fine. Yeah, he had a 35-yard sprint before he made that tackle. Uh, Ringo will start first and ten on their third possession of this uh, third quarter from the 25-yard line. Ringo with those trips to the left side over here again. One back in the backfield. There's that zone read right up the middle. Going to spin, make a man miss. Out across the 30. That shoal out to the 35-yard line. Going to pick up close to a first down. Greg, let's check the spot. Depending on where the spot. Had a little trap play, too. A little crisscross back action it is a, in the it backfield. Is a first, it is a first down. So that, that's really the first first down that we've seen from Ringo this half, and it's been the first first down we've seen from him in a long time. Good run, good run that time by number five there. D.L. Goins made a man miss in the hole. Cavaliers had a chance to stop him for no gain, but he spun out of that tackle, and this time they're going to run that trip formation over to the right side as they stack three wide receivers right behind each other. They're going to run that draw, and there's LeBron Zalea. Misses the tackle. The Cavaliers are going to try to they're going to get him out by the 25, the 30, out across the 35-yard line, and the Cavaliers missed several tackles that time. Number – Lorenzo Patterson missed him at the 30. J.T. Wortham simply exhausted, missed him at the 35. But the play actually gains about three yards. Well, you know, they had him. I was going to say it did, but they had him actually eight yards in the backfield. They had him. They could have tackled him on about the 27-yard line. He wounds up going out of bounds on the 30, 38-yard line. So, only a three-yard gain, but he had to run ten yards to get it. That's right. So Second, second down and seven now. Same bunch formation to the right. Lancaster going to roll that way, going to pick up some pressure, going to find a man across the middle, open, complete out across the 45-yard line, another first down for Ringo. Not, not for me to want to encourage the, uh, the umpire and officiating crew to throw a flag, but it looked like we had holding on the offensive line. But at any rate, that was really the first completed pass I think, behind a bubble screen that down at, on the vertical field. I think Coach Williams is point, co Coach, uh, <laughs> Coach Williams is pointing that out to the officials now as we talk, Greg. Yeah, anyway, I, first and 10 for Ringo. Ball out across the 45 to their own 46-yard line. Lancaster again in the shotgun. Low Ball's snap. on the ground. Ball's on the ground. Ringo's going to fall on it. Play's going to lose about two yards. Uh, well, Lorenzo Patterson all over that, along with Devin Powell. Actually, uh, number 51 for the uh, – Thomas Hodge, they were all over that. Just couldn't quite get on the ball uh, like before the tailback got it. Looked like the snap maybe rolled back there instead of got up and never got quite up in the air. So, second down now at about 12. One thing that the uh, we're speaking of, of sports and academics, these football players learn, know how to read. They got that band on their yes, arm. They, they got to be able to read. Yes, they do. Lancaster dropping straight back. Pressure coming. Mm. He's going to break up the middle of the field get, and go down just across the 45. Going to pick up the yardage back to the original line of scrimmage, maybe an extra yard. Picked up about four. Man. Ball's, ball's going to be spotted, Greg, up near the 47, second down at about nine. Tons of pressure uh, from the Cavalier defense that time, Tony. Flushed him out of the pocket. He wanted to run. He wanted to throw. And, and, and again, that second line of defense had caved in on him by this time. He slides in really for a one-yard gain. It'll be third down and nine as the ball's resting on the 47-yard line of the Ringo Tigers. Coach Hubbard brought pressure off the corner that time, number 51, Thomas Hodge. And, again, a good job by the quarterback to avoid that pressure. Third and nine. Lancaster going to take it and look. Going to get pressure again. Mm. David Powell's going to miss him. C C Cedric Mayer's yes. going to run him down from behind. Sack for another <laughs> loss. 
back to the 39-yard line. Fans, if you could see this, uh, uh, Devin Powell almost had him, and then Cedric Maynard, Maynard he, uh, Lancaster, out of his grips, Tony, but he kept pursuing him, and he dove, and he tackled him for a loss. Lancaster gets up limping wow. a little bit, so he was called from behind. So another good job by the Cavalier defense. I promise you, these Ringo Tigers haven't seen this kind of speed up in North Georgia all year, Tony. I lived up in North Georgia. It's a different brand of football. Uh, you get down south of Atlanta. A lot of they, speed. The things change, and I, I, I promise you they hadn't seen this kind of speed. A lot of speed on that defensive side. Those black jerseys, we hadn't mentioned what the Cavaliers were wearing tonight. We will right after this punt. Almost blocked again yes, that sir. time. Ball's going to hit it to 15, going to be picked up down there. Fumbled. Ball's on the ground. Let's see who's got it, Greg. I tell you what, they kicked it around, but I believe the Callaway Cavaliers are going to come up with that ball. And, whoo, the officials are digging it out. And yeah, I believe that ball's, ball's going to be marked outside the 20 to 22 Callaway football. So, with 2.28 to go here in the third quarter, we're going to take a short break for these messages. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Blues season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So, drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia, We have your flu shot ready, so come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here at Callaway Stadium. With two minutes to go in the third quarter, you score Callaway 35 and Ringo 7. As we mentioned earlier, Josh Williams on the sideline with an injury in the uh, new center, Stephen Curtis, into the game. And wouldn't you know it, on the first snap, the Cavaliers have a little trouble with the snap, but they were able to fall on the fumble. Brings up second down and 10 now. Ball's on the Callaway 21-yard line. Johnson's going to turn, hand the ball to Cedric Maynard over that left side. Cedric's going to get hit hard as he crosses the 25. Picked up about two yards. Going to bring up third down and eight. Ball's going to be rest. They're going to spot it on the 25-yard line as the clock continues to run inside a minute and a half to go in this third quarter. Uh, this will be the Cavaliers' third possession of the third quarter as they'll uh, at the 228 mark is when they took over on their third possession. Looking down at Josh Williams on the sideline, the uh, the center, he is sitting up. He doesn't have any ice on his knee. He still has his pads on, so um, hopefully it's nothing serious. We can get Josh, if not back in this game, have him ready for next week if the Cavaliers are able to hold on. He's got that right leg stretched out. Looks like he's keeping it in a kind of lower position. Johnson's going to run a quick pitch to Maynard around the left side. Cedric hitting the backfield, but keeps those legs moving. Going to be short of the first down. We're going to pick up about two yards. Going to bring up fourth down and about four. And the ball will be marked out at the uh, Cavalier 27-yard line. i tell you what, though, Tony. Uh, Culpepper and Maynard, two of the meanest, fightingest, and I'm talking about for extra run yards. Hard, really Man, hard. they don't give up for really anything. Run hard. They, they sure do. Uh, they yards after contact. I'd love to know that that stat for this year, man. They uh, they take a take a licking and they keep on ticking. Well, they keep those legs moving, as you said, Greg. And you never know. You keep those legs moving. You never know what might happen. You could break a couple of tackles. But as it is now, he brings up fourth down and about five for the Cavaliers as they get ready in punt formation. Reeves Payne standing inside his twenty at the sixteen. With 18 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Snap's good. Payne's going to get a nice high spiral. Going to call for a fair catch down here near the 37-yard line. So that's where Ringo will take over. With nine seconds to go here left in the third quarter, you're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hi, friends. Just like in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating $25 for every new car sold. We may not be shaving our beers, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias. Like the 2015 Kia Sorento LX for as low as $22.9, which includes Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Stop by and see us, beards and all, at 1217 Lafayette Parkway. Help support your local economy. We're open 888, so don't be late. Stock number 6612. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here. And on the first play for Ringo, they find their big tight end across the middle of the field for a first down. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. So after three quarters of play here at Callaway Stadium, your score, Callaway 35, Ringo 7. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Closer to home. From the most advanced technologies 
to a strong vision for the future. We're connecting together. So healthy together. For one very good reason, your health. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm on it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Kevin. Thanks, Melinda. Uh, wait, I have blah blah insurance, so person, come help. <sighs> Hey, Grandma. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy. You're not helping. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you anytime, anywhere, any way. That's getting to a better state. Mabel Smith Sharp. In the game for you. For more information or to review our playbook, visit WGHealth.org. West Georgia Health. So healthy together. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the first play of the fourth quarter here at Callaway Stadium with your score, Callaway 35 and Ringo 7. As uh, quarterback uh, Cavender back, I'm sorry, Lancaster backed up to throw. We've got great pressure from number 51, Thomas Hodge and was actually sacked for a loss of about six yards, so the ball's all the way back. Still on the Cavalier side of the 50 at the Cavalier 48-yard line. Second down and about 16. Their right tackle, uh, Tony, at number 62, he was sl slow getting up, and I, I don't know if he was hurt, but I believe his feelings were. <laughs> With zone read up the middle of the field, play's going to gain a, a couple of yards. Number 18 that time, Jay Fuller from his defensive tackle position, held that, like I said, to about a two-yard gain. So that brings up third down, Greg, in about 13 with 11 minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and your Cavaliers up by a score of 35-7. to seven. You know, we'd like to, and we've learned from Coach Wiggins, you don't want to celebrate too early. You and I would like to think, man, we're up four touchdowns. We, we're comfortable right now, but we've seen stranger things happen for stranger. sure. Coach Wiggins will probably celebrate just as soon as the clock goes to 0-0. Zero, zero, <laughs> there believe, you Greg. go. There you go. Ring go back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and third down about 13 now. Lancaster in the shotgun. Cavaliers bring, trying to bring pressure. There's a snap. Cavaliers get Lorenzo Patterson. Great call. Got a screen call up the middle. Jay Fuller missed the tackle. And another R.J. Williams is going to run him down from behind. And he's going to be short of the first down, Greg, by about two yards. Good hustle by R.J. Williams that but, time. But I'm going to tell you something, though. Jay Fuller read that right. He stayed at home. Right. It, you just had a, a back with – Quick feet, a little bit kind of planted on him, a little juke move, and got out. But you're right, still short of the first down. It'll be fourth and two and a half, maybe, uh, maybe a long two. And and obviously being down four touchdowns with 10:09 left in this uh, in this ball game, uh, Ringo has no choice but to go for it, Tony. My partner over here is checking his his uh, smartphone to see if he can get some scores from around the state. We can there share you with go. you later on. So fourth down and two here now for Ringo. Lancaster going to throw. Incomplete over there on the left side. Had a man open and just missed him. So the Cavaliers get the ball back as Ringo turns it over on downs again. Good job by the defense. Hey, I tell you what, Cavaliers going to take it over with 9.49 to go in this ball game, and they're going to take it over on ball. is going to be resting on the 34-yard line. So they've got 66 yards to go uh, for for Pater. And, and uh, I imagine they'd be just tickled to death with about a nine-minute Let's go with a nine-minute drive. 9.48. <laughs> Nine minute and forty eight yard drive with more points. So what do you think? What are you saying, Tony? We're gonna um we're probably we're gonna, gonna run, run the ball a little I, bit. I would think time? so, yeah, I believe you're right. Not gonna throw it any? Dylan Johnson <laughs> under center again, backs in the eye. Dylan gonna turn and hand the ball to Cedric Maynard off the left side. Cedric hit hard at about the forty five yard line. Picked up a a short two yards, gonna bring up second down at about eight. I tell you what, we had a little quick trap going on there. Maynard was able to dance his way up for two yards, but you know, give credit to these these Ringo Tigers. They haven't given up, man. I mean I know they're down by four touchdowns, but they're still playing tough defense. They're still hitting hard, and it's be very easy that's for them how they to play. That's, that's right. right. That's how they play. That's exactly right. You know, it's a cold night, and you know your bones are hurting, and you're down by four touchdowns. You're not in that good of a mood. It'd be real easy to just soften up. Not looking forward to that bus ride back either. No, sir. Dylan Johnson under center for the Cavaliers. Wide receivers left and right. Going to turn hand the ball on the right side over there to number 23, Tyreek Frazier. Frazier's going to get out across the, uh, the line of scrimmage. He's going to pick up maybe one yard. Going to bring up third down now and about seven. Ball's out near the 42-yard line, Callaway's 42-yard line. Clock running with 8.52 to go in your ball game. Callaway up by a score of 35 to 7. Even with eight minutes to go, Greg, you like the way the Cavaliers are milking the clock. That's the way you should do it. Both teams there. are left with three timeouts. And Officials just now put the ball in place. 20 seconds to go in the game clock. And 
Uh, again, a good job of the uh, Cavaliers of clock management. Uh, you never know when that's going might come in handy later on in, a, in possibly a closer ball game. That's right. Uh, you might you're up four touchdowns. Might as well work on your on your on your uh, your offense clock management offense. Frazier hitting the backfield that time. For, actually going to lose a yard. Going to be marked back at the 35-yard line that time. Good job by, by the Ringo defense that time. Three and out. Going to force the Cavaliers to punt from there, from inside their territory near their own 25-yard line. One of the things that, you know, I've talked earlier, you do not want to do and from an offensive standpoint. You would have liked at least move the ball five, seven, eight, maybe eight yards. Get a uh, couple of first downs. Yeah, you know, don't, but don't just – Again, what you don't want to have happen is what is the reverse of what I just said with, with Ringo. You don't want the offensive unit to say, ah, we're up by four touchdowns. Let's just – I'm going to rest on this play. Next thing you know, uh, they've scored a touchdown and they've got a little momentum and seven and a half minutes still a long way to go in this ball game. Reese Payne standing inside his 15 and 14. Low snap, feels it great. Good nice by play. Reese Payne. Nice high spiral. Ball's going to hit on the 40. Going to bounce inside the 20-yard line, down near the 21-yard line, mm. and that's where Ringo will set up shop on this offensive possession. So with 7.20 to go here in the fourth quarter, and your score, Callaway 35, Ringo 7, you're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Getting you back into the game is Emory Southern Orthopedics Goal. The full-service orthopedic medical practice features board-certified surgeons, a prompt care center, surgical facility, and physical therapy services. The collaborative medical team at Emory Southern Orthopedics combines with leading edge orthopedic treatment with proven traditional methods to aid you in achieving an active, pain-free lifestyle. Emory Southern Orthopedics, getting you back into your game. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone. And on Ringo's first play, the ball is intercepted by the Cavaliers. Dre Martin, number two. Great job by Dre on his line, from his linebacker position. Intercepts the ball. The Cavaliers are going to set up shop at the Ringo 25-yard line. First down and 10. Already up by a score of 35-7 to seven, with 7-10 to go here in your ball game. Wow, what a turn of events. You know, you talk about Mo uh, turning around, and now the offensive unit uh, gets another opportunity inside Ringo territory. And, man, what a – what a devastation it's got to feel like for the Ringo defense, you know. It, it down by four touchdowns and, and um, you know, possibly could go down by five. Dylan Johnson under center. Going to work the clock a little bit. Play clock's right in front of him, down to five. Take the snap. Going to pitch it to Cedric. Made it around the right side. Gets a block from Brandon Body. Down to fit to the 20. Inside the 15, down around the 11-yard line. First down and 10, Cavaliers. Wow, what a nice move off right tackle as he just uh, cuts it outside and turns on that speed and is able to pick up a first down inside the 15, down to the – looks like they're going to mark it at the 12-yard line, Tony. First down and 10 from the 12. The Cavaliers can get a first down inside the 2. Already up by a score of 35 to 7. Clock running with 640 to go in your ball game. No need to be in a hurry. Johnson heads into the huddle. Play clock's right in front of him, so he knows exactly how much time <laughs> he has. Yeah, you know, it's one thing we like about Callaway Stadium. We've been around a lot of stadiums, but that play clock's right there at the play at the, at the quarterback's right. level. Kind of he can see what's going on. A lot of stadiums aren't like that. Johnson going to take the snap, hand the ball to Tyreek Frazier, hit hard at the line of scrimmage, might not even made it back to the line of scrimmage. They're going to give him a benefit of the doubt, Greg, as he was hit hard by that big defensive tackle right there. Play, play actually gained no yards, actually lost a yard. Going to bring up second down and 11 now. Ball's back at the 13-yard line. Big 78 in on the tackle for Ringo, and he's one of those defensive linemen we've talked about. He's huge. These guys are huge, really, and corn-fed North Georgia guys. If you get a chance, Greg, look at the size of their offensive <laughs> defensive line. Read some of those numbers. I mean, they're big across that front. They're huge. 73 that fell on Josh Williams while ago was a 280-pound senior. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 295-pound senior. <laughs> Hello. Cavaliers break the huddle again. Johnson under center. Again, backs in an eye. Tyreek Frazier, the tailback this time. Joe Brown split left. Devin Brock split wide right. Johnson going to run the bootleg to this side. Going to keep it. Going to get inside. Down from the 15 to the 10. Knocked out of bounds inside the 10 at the 9-yard line. As Dylan Johnson ran that bootleg looking for a man open over here. Couldn't find him, so just kept it. Tucked it under his, under his arm and picked up about... About five yards, got inside the 10. It's going to bring up third down now and about 
probably six yards, I guess, Greg, with 5.25 to go in your ball game. Nice play call by the uh, Napier. And it looked like uh, Sanders was out there, but he was stalk blocking. I don't know if it was a misread or if it was a design run, just a bootleg run. I don't know. But, uh, man, you'd think if we could have broke off into that end zone, at least it leaves you opportunity to, to, to run that play in the future. That's right. Johnson brings them out of the huddle. Baxter and I going to pitch it to the right, and we've got to have a whistle before Quick the whistle. play starts. Let's see what that is. I don't see a flag down, but the officials are going to have. We're going. They may have called a timeout. Who called Ringo's that timeout? going to call timeout, it looks like. So, with five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, and your score, Callaway 35, Ringo 7, you're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Church at 706-523-0014. This week's featured listing is a three-bedroom, two-bath home. It has over five acres of land with a fenced-in backyard, hardwood flooring, and just seconds from I-85 in West Point. If you want to know more about this house or get your home listed, call Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014 or see the listings at robupchurchsells.com. Rob or see the listings at joelupchurch.com. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway Stadium and Callaway High School football here. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks, with your score, Callaway 35, Ringo 7, 501 to go in the fourth quarter. Cavaliers getting ready for a third down and six. Ball's inside the Ringo 10-yard line at the eight. Johnson brings them to the line of scrimmage. Brandon Body, Tyreek Frazier in the backfield. Going to pitch it wide left to Frazier. It's going to get, going to be a hit early. Ball's, ball's, on, ball's on the ground. Frazier's going to get back on Good. it. But it's going to lose big yardage back to the 19-yard line. But the Cavaliers do recover. They retain possession. Good job pouncing on it. Uh, uh, umpire's there turning his arm real quick so that clock continues to run. 442 remaining in this contest. Your Callaway Cavaliers up 35-7. to Um we can talk about it up here, but let's don't say it so loud that the coaching staff hears us. Uh, <laughs> this game might be well in hand right now, but the Callaway Cavaliers don't want to really do anything to kind of uh, give them any kind of little small momentum. They want to end this thing on a positive note. Hopefully that means we get in the end zone with fourth down. So the Cavaliers can't get a first down. Remember, it looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth down. They can't get a first down. Of course, they have to get the ball all the way down to the two. Going to split Nick Woodyard wide right. Braylon Sanders wide left. May see the fade right here, Greg. I don't know. I like it. Backs it and I behind him. Going to turn, hand the ball to Cedric Maynard on a quick trap. Going to be stopped for no gain right up the middle of the field. So the uh, ring goal defense holds, and they're going to get a big turnover on downs here. Well, you know, it, it. hey, we've had fortunes right up the gut of the ring goal defense. Why not try it again? I, I like your idea of the little fade pass. Throw it in the corner, so far in the corner, that if it's that if it's broken up, it's going to go out of bounds. And uh, If it's going to be so deep in the corner, if you intercept it, it's going to be a touchback anyway. He's not going to try to advance it out. But they elected to go up the middle, and uh, why not? You've had success there. All night, and we'll keep it right here, Greg. As the as the uh, Ringo takes over on downs here now with 3:47 to go here in your ball game, and you know, Greg, it, it would have been easy for the Cavaliers to try to some points there, but Coach Wiggins feels like this game's in hand with a four touchdown lead. No need in uh, uh, no need in trying to embarrass your opponent or trying to uh, trying to make anything uh, uh, run the score up. Uh, that's and class. So, got a, Coach Wiggins and his t- staff showed a lot of class. I I totally agree with you. Ringo on offense now. There's this, gonna, ooh, gonna run a quick trap up the middle middle of the field, and boy, there's JT Wortham again, number ten, hits the back hard, Uh-oh. and we got a late flag out here. Let's see what that call is going to be. I, I, that could know. be unnecessary roughness against the Cavaliers. Number one out here, Mike Moss was was uh, was uh, not dancing, but uh, hadn't hadn't exchanged one of the wide receivers. So let's see what we got here. If that's the case, the flag's going to fall down on the 29-yard line. It'll be a fit personal. Yeah, it's going to be a personal foul against the Cavaliers. It'll be 15 yards, uh, I believe, from the spot of the foul. No, actually from the line of scrimmage. Moss is going to come over and have a chat with Coach Wiggins to see what that's all about. So, he's going to mark off 15 yards against the Cavaliers. Going to move the ball out past the 30 to the 33-yard line. First down and 10. Ringo gets a fresh set of downs now. 3.33 to go in your ball game. They're winding the clock, Tony. So it'll be first down, as you said, for the Tigers out on the uh, 33-yard line. Eh. 
yeah, some of these getting back to some of these guys, um, they're well, well fed up there. 250 yes, pound defensive are. tackle, 295 pound defensive end. There's <laughs> another 295 pound deep. Six, six. That's two kids there, six, six, both of them. Yes, sir. Defensive ends. Yes, wow. Sir. There's a throw deep down the left side over there. Complete and caught for a first down inside the 30 yard down, down there. Number one. Good throw that time by the quarterback for, for Ringgold as he had his wide receiver out there. The quarterback, Lancaster, completes that throw out there to number one. And we talk, we called his name earlier, number one. Gray had, had good coverage out there yep. by Devin Brock, but a good throw and catch. There was a flag down. Looks like it might have been against the Cavaliers. So that's going to move the ball down inside the 30. Ringo with the first down. Ball's going to be marked at the 27-yard line. Good throw and catch that time by Ringo. You know, Tony, though, I was, I'm like you, Devin Brock. You couldn't ask for better coverage. Had great coverage. He yes, was he right did. there. It was just one of those timing plays. Both of them went up, and um, their wide out was able to number pull, one, pull Garrett, it down. Y- number one, Garrett Yates went up and caught it at his highest point. So good job by, by Ringo that time. Mm. So that moves the ball down, all the way down to the Callaway 20. Let's see where they're going to mark it. Actually, going to go inside the twenty, down they, to the sixteen to the uh, sixteen fourteen, 14 yard, line. yard line. They're going to wind the clock. First down and ten for Ringo. Two forty five to go in your ball game. Quarterback Lancaster getting the shotgun. Going to hand the ball up to right to right up the middle. Number twenty one going to be hit and knocked down by number thirteen Aaron Crossell and number eighteen Jay Fuller. You know Ringo still playing hard as they can play and complaining to the to the um, officiating got, crew. I don't know what's player, going on. Got a player down for Ringo on that far side over there, Greg. So they're going to take a timeout, and so will we. You're listening to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. In sports, free agents are free to find a team that offers the best deal. That's why Grange only sells their coverages through independent insurance agents. They're free to find the best team to protect your auto, home, or business. Mallory Agency considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call Mallory Agency at 706-884-3339 or visit their website at www.malloryagency.com. Products not available in all states. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football. Here we are. We have a pause in the action. We have a Ringo player down on the uh, other side of the field, and uh, hopefully that young man's okay as they tend to him on that sideline. We're going to go back to the station now uh, for a couple of more commercial breaks. We'll bring it back uh, after these messages. You're listening to Callaway High School Football, the Eagle Sports Network. Hi, friends. Jess Lick here with Kia LaGrange. Join us this month participating in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating $25 for every new car sold. We may not be shaving our beers, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias. Like the 2015 Kia Sorento LX for as low as $22.9, which includes Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Stop by and see us, beards and all, at 1217 Lafayette Parkway. Help support your local economy. We're open at 10, so don't be late. Stock number 6612. Hi, welcome to State Farm. What's up? Hi, I want to switch to State Farm, but my husband has a hard time letting things go. He's stuck in the 90s. Not. Well, if you do switch to State Farm, I can save you 500 bucks. Raise the roof. Switch to State Farm for your auto insurance, and you could save on average 500 bucks. Get to a better state. State Farm. Stuck on savings? Go to the square in LaGrange or call Matt Orr, your State Farm agent. Average household savings based on 2012 National Survey of New Policyholders Who Reported Savings by Switching to State Farm. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football here with 2.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. Ringo threatening to put some more points on the board. Quarterback Lancaster drops straight back, looking across the middle, incomplete. Had a man open in the end zone. Got good pressure that time from number 18, Jay Fuller. And also uh, – No, that's the third time I was telling you I was pointing out. You know, that's – when the coaches ringo go back and review this game tape. He had a man they, open. They've, got, they've had yeah. opportunities. They've had opportunities right now. I see three more touchdowns. I mean, literally, it could be it could be 35-28 right now. But, you know, Greg, that pressure creates a lot of uh, a lot of havoc sometimes. Yeah, it does. That, it, really, it really – that's the defensive back's best friend. I've it said sure it all is. year. That pressure really, uh, really causes some problems. So, that pass incomplete. Good job. Second, Callaway. Second down now and about six. For Ringo, two minutes to go in your ball game. Ball's actually spotted inside the 10, Greg. I guess that ball's down 
Maybe right at the 10-yard line. Right third at, down, in, inside third down, the 10-yard line. Lancaster in the shotgun. Going to run that zone read up the middle. Stroll's going to be hit. Going to get down near the first down, close to the five. Let's see where they mark it, Greg. And let's see if they'll, you know, Ringo has, still has two timeouts left. Uh, he's not really going to do him any good inside two minutes, down by four touchdowns. But, hey, you don't want to take those two timeouts on a long bus ride home. It is, uh, it is short of the first down, Greg, so the clock does continue to run. Fourth down and maybe a half a yard now. Ball marked down near the five-yard line. Yeah, they go ahead. Ringo. Coach staff calls a play. As that zone read again, going to be hitting the backfield. And Greg, depending on the spot, I'm not so sure he got I, it. I, I'm like you, Tony. He had to get inside the five, and I believe they he's going to be short. They're taking that yard mark and moving it back, Tony. It's going to be Callaway football. You know, Greg, that's the <laughs> third time tonight on third and short that Cavalier defense has thrown Ringo for a loss. Coach Sheer is out there congratulating his defensive <coughs> line, man. What a what a great job these guys have done all night. Long. Shares the only one in sleeves out there, so we got to get him a jacket. Maybe, maybe yeah. with his D line playing like it is, we can get him a jacket with that supplement he gets. Jay Fuller is, <laughs> is being helped off the field. He's kind of grabbing his stomach. I don't know if he's had it, had a helmet to the stomach or whatever, but might have gotten kicked. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. It's just uh, he, he's he's walking fine, but he looks like he uh, like I say he got hit in the stomach somehow. But at any rate, Callaway will take over, hopefully on the last possession of this football game with 121 left. They'll take over on the five yard line. Cavaliers look like they may be in the victory formation here, Greg. Johnson's yep. going to take it and drop to a knee, and that's exactly right. The Cavaliers, Cavaliers get ready to yeah. uh, 115 to go. Really no need for Ringo to call timeout. It's no. not going to do him any good, Tony. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Good Other job. than delay their trip to get on back to the house. Good job by Coach, <laughs> good job by Coach Wiggins. Good job, good job of, of, of showing some class and leadership and, and uh, really setting an example for these young men, uh, not only on the field but off. Second down and actually about 11 now as a play lost a yard. Make sure, Dylan, you don't go back too much farther. Get you close to that end zone now. That's right. Play clock down to 10. Cavaliers milking it. Johnson doing a good job. Clock down to 40 seconds and running. There's a the snap. Johnson's going to take a knee again. Clock continues to run. Now down to 35, depending on when they started. Greg Cavaliers may not have to run another play. 30 seconds in running. Play ah, clock is not stopped. No, no started. reason to. They hadn't even stopped, blew the whistle in yet. Good yeah, they job, have now. Good job by the officials that time. That's right. Uh, no let's need get, to run let's a give play. them credit. Not yeah. even any need to run a play. <laughs> they did a good job that time. So it looks as though the Cavaliers are going to move on to next week to to Washington County. Washington County. As we as we watch the seconds run off. Unless we got an end, upset. At the end of the ball Hang game. on a second. What do we got here? Heritage a, versus Buford? Buford? No, no. No, that's got to be a misprint. That's a misprint. No. That somebody, somebody said Buford. No I way. think they're fooling there us. There ain't no there way. There ain't no way. No, <laughs> so, not the University of Buford. So your final score, gang, <laughs> Callaway 35, Ringo 7 here at Callaway Stadium. We'll be back after these commercial messages on this winning Friday night. You're listening uh, to Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Rob Upchurch is your REMAX result agent. No matter if you're selling or buying, the first phone call should be to Rob Up Church at 706-523-0014. This week's featured listing is Better Than New, a spacious home on a 1.5-acre lot in the Rosemont area. Hardwood flooring, oversized family room with a huge master and a huge master bath. If you want to know more about this house or get your home listed, call Rob Up Church at 706-523-0014 or see the listings at robupchurchsells.com. Getting you back into the game is Emory Southern Orthopedics Goal. The full-service orthopedic medical practice features board-certified surgeons, a prompt care center, surgical facility, and physical therapy services. The collaborative medical team at Emory Southern Orthopedics combines with leading-edge orthopedic treatment with proven traditional methods to aid you in achieving an active, pain-free lifestyle. Emory Southern Orthopedics, getting you back into your game. Hi, friends. Jess Lick here with Kia LaGrange. Join us this month participating in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating $25 for every new car sold. We may not be shaving our beers, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias, like the 2015 Kia Sorento LX for as low as $22.9, which includes Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Stop by and see us, beards and all, at 1217 Lafayette Parkway. Help support your local economy. We're open 88, so don't be late. Stock number 6612. In sports, free agents are free to find a team that offers the best deal. 
That's why Grange only sells their coverages through independent insurance agents. They're free to find the best team to protect your auto, home, or business. Mallory Agency considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call Mallory Agency at 706-884-3339 or visit their website at www.malloryagency.com. Products not available in all states. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway High School football on the Eagle Sports Network here on this winning Friday night at Callaway Stadium where your final score is Callaway 35 and Ringo 7. And a good night for the Cavaliers as we as they, uh, Coach Wiggins has his kids uh, in the middle of the field in there. They've had their pre- – post-game talk and uh, you know Greg a, a good job by the Cavaliers after last week's emotional uh, defeat you know they, they could have come out flat that's right they didn't do that nope. they, they, they came out they took care of business they put last week behind him and moved on and uh, now Greg our reward next week is to go to the house of pain in Washington County over in Sandersville Georgia well, well you know we are assuming that Washington County beat their, their well, first round opponent, yeah. and, and I, I would I would say yeah. my money's on that. And yeah, for yeah. you folks, it's um, now you've been to Washington County. I've, tell I've, us, tell just, us about that. Trip, I, I'm about to tell you guys if you guys have been listening to uh, um, both these broadcasts, Callaway football and Troop football, over the last years, you know that. Troop High Tigers have made many a trip down to Sandersville, and and as they say, Tony, they ain't no easy way to get there. No, you probably and, if you're going, you, when we leaving. Uh, right Thursday, after the game, I think. Right after the game. Yeah, we might will yeah. go on and take yeah. our trip down there. I, think yeah. there's a, I, I would say there's a condo waiting, but I don't know about Sandersville. That's, one of the, that's the land of Kale at Kalen. One of the most, uh, if you're a high school football fan, whether you're a Washington County fan or not, one of the most, I don't know how would you describe it, Greg, it's one of the most impressive places you can go to a high school football well, game. It, you the know, tradition, it, 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 is. There's nothing, it is. There's nothing fancy about the place. It's all about tradition at Washington County. And they don't call it the House of Pain for nothing. A lot of, <laughs> lot of success at Washington County this year, the number one team in AAA. They got the number one quarterback. He's going to like you said earlier. Possibly the number one player in the state of Georgia. That's this correct. Year, so. He's already got 1,700 yards rushing and as a quarterback. And there's no telling what he did tonight against the number four seed. But you know what? You know, as we've as we've told our kids before, they're not Buford. So no, you know, they're we, not. They, so, they're, you but know, they we, are pretty good. Well, and if we think back two years ago, they put us out in the second round right, right here at Callaway Stadium. That's so right. it's the first time the Cavaliers have seen the likes of a Washington County, and so they got a little respect for them now. Sure. And they call their place down there the House of Pain. When you go down there, you'll enter the stadium. And on the on, on the home side end zone, they've got a little graveyard down there, yeah. a little sand pit, and uh, they've got tombstones for every team that they've beaten this year. Right. And they do that every year. And I'm going right. to tell you something, fans. We want you to come down there and support these Callaway Cavaliers. Yes, sir. Travel a long way. Take a day off. Your day. Come Take on a, down. That's right. Take but a day be, off. But be ready now. Bring your defense because these, these fans down at Washington County, they're going to go on the business they're, side. They're, 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 yeah, they're, get very, their, they're very confident at Washington they, County. They are. So they, and they support their kids. And uh, but you know, let's talk about this game tonight, Greg. Woo. You know, a good job by the Cavaliers. I'm I'm looking down there. You know, one uh, you know you know you're always going to have some people that are nicked up and wounded this time of year. We mentioned Josh Williams. It's good to see Josh on his feet, but he's not moving very well. He's right here by the <laughs> rail. So I see hopefully it. we can get Josh well for next week because we're going to need all our guns. We're going to need everybody healthy for next week. And um, you know, we're going to show up. You know, Callaway's going to show up. They yes, won't sir. Be. They'll, they'll they'll go down. They'll compete. They'll play hard. And uh, you never know how that ball's going to bounce. But, you know, it's, it's a big challenge for the Cavaliers next week. But I promise you Coach Wiggins and that staff will have those kids ready, and they'll, they'll go down there and they'll play one well of a ball game next they week. They will. Well, you know, like Coach uh, says, he said, you know, we, we, we get these boys expecting to win that's every right. time they step on the field. And that's a confidence level. That's kind of a – I mean, it's confidence. That's a little swagger. Um, that's an attitude that you approach every every practice and every game with, and you know they're going to be they're going to have fun. They're going to get focused on that bus ride down to watch down to Sandersville, which is there ain't no easy way to get That's there. Right. And by the time they get down there, I'm sure they're going to leave early Friday morning to get on down there, get their feet underneath them, get their legs rested a little bit, and they're going to have their game face on. They're going to say, Washington County. Uh, this ain't no pushover, baby. That's right. That's exactly right. This ain't right. no pushover. And, you know, uh, as far as tonight's game goes, you know, the Cavaliers were without, 
were without Terry Godwin. Hopefully he'll be back next week. Yep. Uh, glad to see you. Uh, uh, hopefully he'll have that uh, that ankle well. And, again, Dylan Johnson did a great job running the offense tonight. He sure did. Getting everybody involved, of course. Eddie Culpepper, Cedric Maynard, Braylon Sanders had a big touchdown. But when you go back to it, that offensive line and that defensive line really dominated mm. this ball game, Greg. And they I, did. I think that's what helped push the Cavaliers over the hump. So we're going to pause for one more commercial break, Greg. We'll come back and wrap it up. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about next week. So we come on back and join us here on this winning Friday night at Callaway Stadium. And we'll talk some more Callaway football on the Eagle Sports Network. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. In sports, free agents are free to find a team that offers the best deal. That's why Grange only sells their coverages through independent insurance agents. They're free to find the best team to protect your auto, home, or business. Mallory Agency considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call Mallory Agency at 706-884-3339 or visit their website at www.malloryagency.com. Products not available in all states. Good food. Where do you find it? Because when you spend your hard-earned money, you want good food. So the place you'll find that good food is at Rogers Barbecue on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, where they only serve American-grown catfish, barbecue cooked to perfection, and with all the fixings to make it worth every penny. Rogers Barbecue owned and run with care since 1945. Come eat with us Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, or use our carry-out window. Rogers Barbecue, New Franklin Road, LaGrange. Blues season is upon us. And we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callaway Stadium at Callaway High School Football here on the Eagle Sports Network. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks tonight uh, with the call as the Callaway, Callaway Cavaliers have defeated the Ringo Tigers by a score of 35 and advanced to the second round of the 2014 Georgia High School AAA State Playoffs. Uh, my, my partner over here was uh, trying to find some AAA scores uh, that we could pass on to you before we closed, but so far we had, hadn't had any luck pulling them up. So you got every, every class we, we except may, AAA. You, looks like you may just have to may just have to watch the uh, may just have to watch the uh, uh, sports tonight uh, or, or Fox Five in your face <laughs> at, at 11:30 for some scores. But uh, you know, Greg, uh, as we as we wrap it up, all in all, a good night for the Cavaliers as we look forward to next week and. Um, you know, hopefully we'll get our, our partner in crime, Jack, back, Jack Warman, back with us next week. And we'll be oh, heading, yeah. We'll be heading over to Washington County, we presume, uh, to play Washington County next, well, they next were, Friday they were, night at 730. Yeah, they were up on their opponent while ago, to like 28 to nothing. So I, I don't I don't know that we have a, have a fear of that. But right. I tell you what, uh, great ball game tonight. They came out early on. They, they clicked early. Um, they had uh, on their first four possessions. Uh, they had two touchdowns, could have had three. Um, uh, very confident playing last night. Really only had one turnover, Tony. Mm-hmm. Um, then And Ringo had a couple of turnovers. They had a, a block punt. Uh, Callaway did. And uh, PAT, they were perfect on the PAT, so special teams looked good. Milliman kicked the ball deep. Good coverage on the, on the kickoff team. Um, other than that one fumble, mm-hmm. uh, you couldn't ask for better execution tonight. I agree. And, and again, the coaches have to be proud of the way some of these young people stepped up tonight. Opportunity to play with some injuries that occurred to, to, to other starters. And, again, those those meaningful reps we talked about early in the year, Greg, uh, pay off of the Cavaliers now this time of year is you got some people nicked up and hurt and uh, somebody gets an opportunity to step up and make plays, and that's exactly what the Cavaliers did tonight. That's right. Well, you guys come join us next week. We're going to be going to Sandersville, so Tony and Jack and I, I'm sure we're going to leave out probably around 2, between 2 and 3, because it's a Wednesday. good day. It could be, but I promise you, fans, it's a good two-and-a-half to two-hour, between two-and-a-half and, and three-hour drive. you got basically go to Greenville, 
uh, to Zebulon, to Barnesville, to Forsyth. You cross the freeway, you head on down to Gray, Georgia, and then on into Milledgeville. And about 25 miles south of Milledgeville, you're going to wind up in a little old town called Sandersville, Georgia. It's where, like you said, Tony, football tradition, Rich, the, 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 the stadium is there at the high school, behind the high school. Um, trust me, it won't be hard to find because everybody in Sandersville knows where well, the football is going lights, on. The lights will be on. We there just, you go. We just hope if it's cold we have a press box to sit in next week. Right? We will. And I'm going to be honest with you. They treat you. They treat us right. We get in there. They'll bring us food. Oh, hey. It's good hospitality. <laughs> hey, we're good to go. That's all I need to know. There you go. As a matter of fact, as soon as this broadcast is over, <laughs> Greg and I will be leaving and head, <laughs> heading to Sandersville. There you so, go. But, there you uh, go. Again, th- we want to thank everybody for joining us tonight on this winning Friday night. We, uh, we appreciate you taking your time to listen to Greg and I. And, and again, Hopefully we'll have Jack back next week as we get ready to go to Sandersville. So we want to thank you again for joining us here on the Eagle Sports Network where your final score tonight is Callaway 35, Ringo 7. And we'll see you here again next week on Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. All right, I want to ask you something, but you have to promise not to laugh at me. (laughs) Okay, what? Do you think the State Farm jingle really works? Like, for real? Like, if you sing the jingle, will your agent actually appear and help you out? Yeah, of course it works. I saw it on the Internet. Having your own State Farm agent means having a real person to help you when you need them. State Farm agent Matt Orr on the square in LaGrange. Call 706-882-0046. Flu season is upon us. And we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. The all-new, all-pro Hyundai in LaGrange is offering the all-pro advantage. Friends and family pricing on all-new Hyundai's... One, save thousands with 0% financing on 2014 Sonatas and Elantras. Purchase a 2015 Sonata for only $20,899. All veterans receive an additional $500 on top of our already low prices. Visit us at 1405 Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, or online at allprohyundai.com. The all-new All Pro Hyundai, where the customer always wins. Thanks for listening to the Callaway Cavaliers versus the Ring Gold Tigers on WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Callaway Cavalier football was brought to you in part by Holmes Pharmacy, Emory Southern Orthopedics, Mallory Insurance, West Georgia Health, Kia of LaGrange, REMAX agent Rob Upchurch, and REMAX agent Joel Upchurch.